There's none. No, we're just talking we're about base with the ghost. We're just talking about baseball. Yeah, we're just talking okay. about baseball. Yeah, man. Don't forget okay, to share screen on Discord. <laughs> Do not forget the Discord share, good sir. Okay. Maybe I should. Okay. Okay. What? Okay. We good? We good values? Discord. The Discord share. Oh. Why do I keep forgetting? Screen share. I keep no, forgetting, no. bro. It's fine. <laughs> not really. I was like, why did you type okay? <laughs> I don't even know why I did it. Good. Wait, what? Nothing to worry about. I'm gonna advertise the stream in Elusive. Yay! We gotta get that video homies quality. to come in. Wait, huh? Video quality is shit? Why can't... No, no, it's good. It just I can't choose my video quality this time. Weird. No! How will I rack up my homie points now? Well, okay, I guess I gotta hold up. I have to put the HTTP in front of it. Weird, I didn't have to do that. Oh, whatever. What are you trying to rack up homie points for? Who, 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 are you trying to, who are you trying to make suffer? No one. I just like racking up the points. You like big numbers, don't you? I mean, yeah. I played the Skya. <laughs> Oh god, I'm not even sure if I want to touch this guy at six. When, from what I saw, though, not that Welcome not that that game doesn't look fucking great. It looks amazing. Why the hell did they raise the level cap by three digits? Wow. Hi, baby. Explain to me. Yeah. Explain to me. Japan, explain. Nice, explain. Nippon. Nippon, explain. <laughs> I'll just say Spirit Hunter. Keep it nice and straight to the point. Nippon X Land! Okay. Just say whenever you're ready, guys. Ready. I'm Valley. Okay. <laughs> Where were we at? Oh, right. We went back here because we almost got killed. Yes. Yes, sir. And he, yeah, and he, and Hiro almost, almost just became ghost spider food, right? Yes, sir. She became, she became possessed. <sighs> Tried to sleep with us. Mm hmm. She went down to her birthday suit and tried to have a birthday party, but we just weren't happy with it because there was no cake. Despite how much cake she had, but this is gonna be a day. <laughs> this is gonna be a day. <laughs> I've already finished investigating today. Oh, but there's no one to talk to. <laughs> it's just a button now. Oh my god, you're right. That's right. I have to finish. I have to investigate again tomorrow. Once I'm done looking things up, I should go to bed early. Yeah, my food's gonna be here in like 25 minutes. Or whatever. What? <sighs> huh? I hear the rumble of something heavy moving around as I'm half asleep. Is someone here? My brain is too sluggish for thought. I couldn't... I couldn't say how long I slept. I remember it being dawn, but... A loud noise makes me sh ring upright. What the hell? I was sleeping in the freaking lobby? Whoops. Oh, look! Oh, we no. Oh, <laughs> no! What a time. What a time. Young guys are staring up at me. I I'm so sorry. I woke you up. But, Suzu? Actually, hold on. Wait. I'm just, I'm just gonna confirm. I'm just gonna confirm if she's uh, if she actually right. started hanging out. Uh, I was gonna say I was gonna close uh, my door, but a dog is. I don't have anything for you. Yeah. 
just check. This chicken isn't crispy. <laughs> then put it in the oven. But it's still chicken. So I'm gonna... The oven's not hot right now. Eh, fuck it. Yeah, we'll continue. She'll, <laughs> she'll, she'll, she'll tell me. She'll tell me. She'll tell me whenever. All right. Suzu, what are you doing here? The room is messy, so I thought I'd clean it for you. Sorry, I didn't ask permission first. That's not exactly what I meant. How did you get in my house? Oh, are you awake? Who I, is this? Otaku, dude. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, never mind. It's still me. Jeez, are you are you a little too careless? Christy, you're here too? She shrugs and sighs dramatically, very nearly rolling her eyes at me. <sighs> you left the front door unlocked. Where are you out investigating until late? It's not good to sleep on the sofa. I guess I didn't have the energy to make it up to my bedroom last night. Was I that tired? One of those days. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I willed myself to actually sleep in the same fucking sofa that demon was on. <laughs> 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 yeah, something like that. Take better care of yourself. Oh, do you want some coffee? No, I'm fine for now. More importantly, why are you here? Chrissy glances over at me and huffs. I'm dropping off reports from Mr. Detective. Mr. Detective? It must be research for Mashida's case. But who would have thought Christy would listen to a request from Mashida? That man is the worst. The attitude he had for when asking for a favor. The attitude he had when asking for a favor. Oh, now she messes me. Boom, she's alive. The attitude she had when asking for a favor. Allie. <laughs> <laughs> what? What uh, happened? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. I don't know. Why'd you call my name? That man is the worst. The attitude he had was asking for a favor. Not, I love not yet. He has multiple shifts, so it ends for realities. I like to imagine it's a fly flying around the room because he took a deuce on the couch and I guess is really looking for it, but he's still sitting on what? What'd I say? <laughs> I don't know. I'm staying hydrated, don't worry. <laughs> Alright. Good. I'll make sure everyone else is being hydrated too. Here oh, no. you go. What? It's just one. Okay. Uh, redeem a hydrate. Things. Let's go. Maybe I should make that higher. Who knows? <laughs> what? Th what? No. 350 for a sip of water? Yeah, I should totally make it more expensive. You're right. Make it a thousand. <laughs> I have a sim. She has ascended. Hmm. You sure oh you... God, I'm dying. I'm sorry. You sure... you sure you ascended? I thought where I, wherever I'm at, you think it's hell. No. I've ascended. Dude, hell, hell is fun. What do you mean? <laughs> okay. <laughs> if I didn't owe you, I'd have flat out told him no. I guess she didn't agree because she wanted to. I understand, but why is Suzu here, too? I told her about my visit and invited her. We exchanged numbers a while back. How? I'm gonna see Uncle Kaze now. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Yee -yee. <clears throat> yes, she certainly surprised me, suddenly asking to be friends. It's the first time I've been friends with an adult. <laughs> Does Aita not count? <laughs> nah. I Chris don't think it. Chrissy <laughs> whispers to me. I mean, I can't help but be worried. I have to make sure that creepy otaku isn't doing anything weird to her. He's, He's a good boy. 
They go after children sometimes. He's not a bad guy, I swear. So that's why. She was worried because Ata's so forward. No, more likely because Suzu is too innocent. But I'm a little relieved. He didn't seem very well when I was here before, so I've been worried. How about thanks? Wait, <laughs> is that two? Or is that I would, two? I would have asked. I would have said the first one for sure. Yeah. But that's me. Well, I don't know, because I feel like he's going to be a jerk. He, like, all of these make it seem like he's going to sound like a jerk about it either how way. Is the, how are these sounding like they'd be jerks? You know, well, he was anxious about a bite mark on his wrist. I'll listen to Naho on this one. I'm like, yes, did I seem that bad? Now. And I'm much fine, thanks. I wish Ata could have come with us. <laughs> but he's working at the factory today. Sounds oh like Ata. Sounds like Ata started working seriously. It's never too late to start something. I hope he tries hard. And he's probably making anime figures and probably stealing some of the merch. Oh my god. That. So, moving on to the matter at hand. You heard how the owner of the hotel went missing, right? I have connections with the copy editor of that article, so I asked her. And sure enough... Her expression clouds over. The hotel and rumors of its illegal services were juicy news for the media. They even knew that there was a mediator organization managing it. My reporters looking into the flow of cash event actually got some concrete proof. This telling of the story is fascinating because Christy used to be in the media herself. The things recorded in the guest books we found may have been connected. But before we talk more about it... Sorry, Suzu, but would you mind doing more cleaning? I've been putting it off for a long time, so the second floor is a giant mess, too. This is child labor, and I can have you in jail for this. Oh, okay, yes, <laughs> I mean, he asked you. I'll borrow your cleaning supplies then. There's no cleaning supplies. Make sure supply. to check your food later. My what? Your food. Oh. She's gonna raid the fridge, okay. Suzu skips. Um, well, I'll poison you, but sure. Suzu skips up the stairs. Chrissy seems to immediately catch on. Not exactly a topic for kids' ears, huh? I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No, it really is messy up there. <laughs> anyway, tell me more. Yes, so the media at the time should have been pursuing the heart of the matter, but... It's like this case was hardly reported on. Media caught wind of the story, so the police should have been briefed on it as well. And yet, what took place in Masquerade is shrouded in darkness. It seems something be something's behind all of this. Behind? How do you mean? I don't know if this is true or not. But they had a whole list of all the Masquerade's customers. Famous politicians and businessmen were on it. And that reporter who got the proof up and went missing. A number of freelancers on the case also went missing, apparently. That's horrible. Those are the only words I can find to describe it. You're telling me. It's an outrage to silence those who are seeking the truth. It's bad, but it'd at least be a little better if it was the work of regular humans. The work of regular humans? What do you mean by that? Exactly what it sounds like. The truth is... I tell Christy about what happened yesterday. What we found in the hotel and what happened to Hiro. 
The color drains from Christy's face until she's white as a sheet. S Susu, we're leaving. With her sudden yell, Christy stands up and prepares to leave. What? What's wrong? No one told me. What? No one said a single thing about spirits like that being involved. I'm sorry, but I can't do this. I'm never going to face a spirit again. And I'm not just thinking about me. I don't want Suzu going through that either. Thinking about it, it makes sense. No one has the right to drag Christy and Suzu into a case like this. Especially me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get you involved. The research you've done is enough, so don't concern yourself about it anymore. Chrissy looks at me in a stunned surprise. No, I should be the one apologizing. I owe you. You did everything you could to save us. But we... Child. No. Child. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> uh, no. What happened? It is something the matter? Suzu re-answers the room, head tilted in confusion. I just remembered something I have to do, so we need to leave. Sorry. Bruh. You can keep cleaning next time, okay? Okay, I understand. Suzu nods, though she looks suspicious. She's very perceptive. She has to have picked up the strained air between us. She's also really good at Among Us. <laughs> well then, True. see you, Mr. Kaze. Right. Thanks for coming all this way. You were a great help. I'm very grateful. Chrissy quickly bows to me, her expression inscrutable. Excuse us. I'll come again sometime, okay? Suzu puts her hands together and bows politely. Then she whispers in my ear so Christy can't overhear. You're gay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I caught a little bit of what you were talking about earlier. So I contacted Ata. I'm sure he'll be helpful. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're gay. To be honest, no. <laughs> I can't imagine Ata being very helpful. But Suzu has good intentions, so I nod. Except for that gay comment. <laughs> Thanks. That helps. But don't tell anyone else about my gay. I'm not out yet, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I do my best to smile as I see the both of them all out of the mansion. I need to get ready soon and head out. Man, we're gonna look really oh, stupid if he God. actually does come out as gay in the next game or something. Uh, is Ka <laughs> is Masamune in the next game? Yeah. In the third one, yeah. Oh, he it's is. Good. Okay. Yeah. I think everyone in this game is coming back. Nice, actually. Well, it's a different gameplay system. It's not labyrinth, supposedly. Oh, baby. <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's like you, you open up the, um, baby, you turn on the game, and the intro scene is, my husband, Mashta, is making breakfast. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't think I would mind if it's Mashita, though. Well, neither would I. You know what I mean. <laughs> He can investigate me as much as he wants. Every nook and cranny. Mm-hmm. Even the dirty ones. <laughs> Can't leave any crevice un unchecked. He can explore my belly button as long as he wants. <laughs> we will not take your kidney from your belly button, Valley. <laughs> Why not? It, it is not humane. Oh, boy. What if it was my dying wish? You have a <laughs> shitty wish that's never coming true. <laughs> it's like you're already dying. Why the fuck would you care? Oh, I didn't think I would go for two days straight. But it's sprinkling again tonight. Gotta set the mood for the investigation, huh? 
Mother Nature is just taunting me. As the time, as the time comes to search, Arded, two figures suddenly finally appear. Hey, right on time. Did you get any sleep? Daimon looks exhausted, probably as a result of everything that happened last night. Hello. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, here it comes. Oh my <clears throat> The best. It's my turn today. Do this, we shall. <laughs> Banshee. Oh hell yeah. I honestly never expected Banshee Ito to come help. But he's definitely has some spiritual powers. Also, Oka's judgment is on point. But oh. more importantly, how is Hiro doing? She's stable. She's showing no adverse symptoms. Valley has to wake up, huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, for the most part. But she hasn't regained consciousness, and she's exhausted a lot of energy. Even being optimistic, it isn't good. At this rate, her life could be in danger. Is that so? I was prepared for bad news, but the situation sounds exceedingly dire laid out like that. The problem is, we don't know the cause. We suspect poison, but without knowing what kind, there's nothing we can do. What's worse is we can't find a puncture wound for the injection point. You can't give her serum? Isn't that normally what you give patients when they're poisoned? Diamond looks exasperated, or rather frustrated, as he shakes his head. Oh no, it's a med- um, we're dealing with a med student. Oh, so just try random and- <clears throat> So just try random antitoxins? Sure, if you want to kill her, go ahead. Even if we could get our hands on the poison, it'd take time to create the serum. Ah, crap. I'll be right back. Somebody get this mouse out of my Sorry. hair. It's really itchy. It smells horrendous. And it just doesn't look well. Oh, I gotta go. What the hell? Why is everybody leaving me? <laughs> I gotta go feed the dogs. I'll be back oh, later. that's fine. That's cool. See you later, Naho. So, it's just me. Whoopity doopity doo. I gotta fill this empty space with. Something. Okay, me. Let's play a game. What kind of game do you want to play? You know what? I never thought I'd get this far. But let's try playing I Spy. Alright. I Spy with my little eye. Something white. It's the lab coat. Incorrect. It's the whiteboard on the side there. Nope. Oh, is it the cursor stuck in Daimon's hair? Correct. I win. What am I doing with my life? <clears throat> I don't know how far I should place my mic from my mouth. Let's check our phone. Someone updated Twitter. Oh, it was just Maya. Adding me about the source. It sounds like a door has fallen down on the other end. Whose door could have fallen? But it certainly wasn't mine. Of course it's not yours. We literally just said it was falling down on the other end. Shut up, me. Holy crap, I'm so tired. Ah! Uh. 
landlord harassing me. Do not like. Oh no. And then I tripped, and then I saw my food, and I got it, and I trip over, but my food's good, but I hurt. Oh, that's good. No, I mean, the <laughs> fact you got your food, not the fact that you hurt. All right. I thought I should clarify that. Don't worry, let's continue. In case it was lost in translation, we'd be too late. <laughs> <clears throat> I read the line. <laughs> that, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so there's nothing we can do. If we just had something kind of a, if we just had nice something translation. kind of, if we just had something like a kind of clue. I look up at the hotel, basked in the sea of neon. There isn't much hope, but we cannot despair either. Oh, that's right. Just so you know. Diamond looks over to me. There was no mark on Hero's body. I see. Which means that the nightmare isn't starting again. I sigh in relief. A frozen chunk of tear in my chest felt melting away. Don't you mean fear? Fear. Okay. <laughs> I did some investigating on that myself, actually. I went to the warehouse last night. And what did you find? Nothing had changed. The pu the Paloina box was still seen. Paloina. Polonia. 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 It's Polonia, but I'm calling it Paloina. No. <laughs> the Polonia box was still sealed. The fuck is a Polonia? Is that right? Material it's made up, probably. Oh, really? I guess that might. Be. Well, that's good. That's the first good news I've heard in a while. Come on, you two! Oh, that was not what... How long are you gonna stand around chit-chatting? Let's get going already! <laughs> right. Sorry for making you wait. Oh, it's just a little angrier. This is everyone for today, right? I hesitate for a second as Ata comes to mind. But... This is all of us. Let's get started. Yeah, let's just ditch him and look at them. Good! Time to get a move on! He's so energetic that it's more worrying than reassuring. Why is Banshee this fired up? Oh, I know why. Just an FYI, old man. This place may be abandoned, but stealing is a crime. An ex-detective gave us the request. If you do anything illegal... How dare you! I don't go around stealing things! I'm helping out of the goodness of my heart! <laughs> anyway, who cares about that? Let's get to searching. Hope you find some knickers to use as toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Diamond hits the bullseye. Banshee rushed ahead, rushed ahead into the hotel as if trying to get away. <clears throat> as troublesome as ever. Well, he's at least reliable at times like these. By the way, Kaza, may I ask you to do something for me? No need to be so formal about it. If something were to happen to me, please move Hero to another hospital at once. Finally back. I've spoken right. to another doctor right now. Okay. Then if I start acting strangely, I'll leave I myself in your hands, you. Diamond. Oh my god. Yes, of course. I'll end your life swiftly. Oh my god. Oh yeah, now I'll laugh, right? <laughs> yeah, she had to she had to step out. Yeah, yeah. But I mean your partners are Diamond and Banshee, yeah. so I think we're safe. <laughs> what will we do if we're both done in? I'll hold your hand. Good <laughs> whatever it may be. Good question. And no. Oh. Guess he'll be up to that grumpy detective. Right. Let's have him take care of it. Come on. We can't let that guy wander alone. God I mean, we, we can at least trust him a little bit, right? Well, you gotta go find him first, I guess. Uh, who is it? Whoa, it's still all fancy in here! I'm guessing that's uh, bad. Yep, there it you is. Go. Yeah, I was about to say, that does sound like him. 
Banshee's cheerful voice hits us as soon as we step inside. Oh, maybe I could make this my second home. Oh, what's this glass case about? Talking to himself, he starts rummaging around. I already warned you once, old man. We're not here to play. <laughs> I don't think Bonchi's listening. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, this is a little grotesque, isn't it? As Bonchi putters around by himself, he reminds me of some. Oh, he reminds me of what happened to Hero yesterday. We should stick together as much as possible. Yeah, you're right. Hey, old man, are you listening? I have ears. Of corn! I don't think they ate them here, though. He hears us all right, but clearly won't listen. Good grief. Grief good. So, Kaze, you searched up to the third floor yesterday. Which means we should look through the fourth and above today. Yeah, that's right, but... Stairs are broken. Is there, is there a problem with that plan? When we went up the stairs to the fourth floor, we just ended up on the back on the third again. I tell them about the mysterious phenomena we encountered yesterday. Are you... Are you sure you weren't just confused? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was real. Then we're in trouble. Is there no other way to get to the fourth floor? What are you talking about? There's a way right over there. Easy. I thought you young men would know better. Banshee unexpectedly butts in. What do you mean? That thing right there. Over there, see? Do you bumpkins not know what an elevator is? Oh my god. Well. Diamond lets out an irritated groan. <sighs> Old man, you know elevators need electricity to work, don't you? Do you think this hotel has any power? If there isn't any, then all you have to do is make it so that there is. We have devices that control electricity. I should know. I'm an expert. Oh, really? Is that so? Diamond size. I think he lost the will to argue. I guess I'll just have to find the device thing myself, then. He heads off, and after I had told him not to wander away from the others. I just ask you not to go off by yourself. Banshee, I'm begging you, stay! Wee I don't get to finish my sentence. The splitty pain pierces my head, and I fall on my knees. Kazi, what's wrong? M my head! Suddenly! Do you get chronic migraines? Do you have any medicine on you? Th no! I don't think that's it! My head is just throbbing! A pulsing headache? If you don't have any ed med medicine, then icing it, is icing it is best. I'll go buy something from the vending machine. Sit here until I come back. Don't try to stand. You could fall over. I sink to the floor, unable to even reply. Before long, Diamond returns with a cold bottle of water, but... Strangely enough, my headache completely vanished while he was gone. It's hard to believe that a pain that intense would disappear so easily, but it did. Diamond doesn't seem particularly surprised when I told him. No, it's not that odd. After all, we haven't even clarified what caused the headache in the first place. I'm sure it's just exhaustion. You didn't sleep much yesterday, did you? That's true. I can't exactly say I got much rest. When you're under continuous stress, it's possible to get sudden headaches. Once you get home, you should take a bath or something to relax. Okay. I'll try that. 
All of that's common sense, but it carries weight coming from a doctor. Um, by the way... Diamond looks around, puzzled. Where's old man Banshee? Yay! Huh? I whip my head around searching, but Banshee is, in, in, is nowhere to be found. Jeez, already? I give up. We don't need him. We'll find him soon. I hope he's okay. We'll find him soon. Let's go. I mean, let's hope so. I'm quite worried. But there's nothing we can do. We'll let him do what he wants. As long as it's a proper investigation, the detective should have no complaints. Yeah. Let's go. They're just like, yeah, fuck that guy. <clears throat> just like taking to an abandoned building. I of course my, he's gonna wander. I shine my flashlight through the safety window. There's only empty darkness inside. The elevator must not be stopped on this floor. That's weird. Move slightly if I pull all my weight into it. But based on what I see from the window, the elevator is on this floor. Opening it just makes it easier to fall. Yeah, no. I can't do any... I can't do anything with Sick McGee anyway. Sick McGee? Masquerade wife. It's a picture of the masked woman wearing a wedding gown. All right. What the hell? You good? What? No, I'm just stretching. Oh. Sorry. I asked if you're good. You said no. What? Oh, is that what happened? I'm sorry. Sorry for the miscommunication. It's okay. Uh, let's go up again. Let's just go to the third floor automatically. Take me to the top. Take me to the top. Take me to the top. Whoa. Where's the jump scares at? Mighty jump scares. That's a one on rock song. What's in the bathroom? I Actually, think I someone think, could dust it here. I think, now that, I think actually now that you've actually encountered the ghost, this. there will be jump scares, so. There is some merit in re-exploring every yes. place. Yes, yes. There's nothing in here. <laughs> So, uh, fuck this room. <laughs> fuck this room. Restart. Yeah, we're here. Back in it again. We I put my hand on the door and try pulling. But it doesn't move at all. Hmm, I see. Try opening it while pushing from another direction. Which direction is that? One not involves one not involved with it opening or closing, so from the side. What? Try pulling on the frame again, and I'll try out my idea. I pull on it again as I'm told. Diamond puts his hands on the side of the knob and leads his weight towards the hinge. Then the door, which was stubbornly refu which stu which had stubbornly refused to open, now abruptly pops open. Wow, it actually opened. What the fuck? Just a little life wisdom. I thought I live in an old. I live in an old traditional house, so I deal with my fair share of troublesome doors. Makes sense. You never know what's going to come in handy. There might be something inside. After all, this guest room seems different. This ain't a guest room, man. 
Yeah, we should be careful. Well, we're just still in the living room, obviously. That's a guest room. This is a guest room, guys. We're in a guest room. It's a guest room. You know, a Trojan horse and some fucking belts. It fucking looks like a dungeon in here. Yeah, it's totally a guest room. Spanish it's a guest donkey. room in medieval times, obviously. Yeah. That was a bathroom door, too? Hey! How you doing? <laughs> Let that man out. Oh, or no. Men. There's a bathroom section off of glass. It looks like it has a rather extravagant bathtub. While I shine my light through the glass door, I find trash lying in the bathtub. What the hell? Go inside. I step inside and dig around in the bathtub. Hmm? Huh? I immediately notice a large object that looks like a small log. What's this? I stare at it until I realize what it is. A wooden horse head. Diamond seems shocked. Might be a little late to be saying this, but... You really are impressive, Kaze. What? What? Is it because I just went into the bathtub? I mean, I guess so. Where there's a spirit potentially being there? Yeah. I don't know. That was weird. He's, he's probably just admiring your hoes. I check through all the bottles on the shelf. I find a tube that has something left inside. I found lube. Maybe toothpaste? I look at the label. Vaseline! <laughs> oh. <laughs> White petroleum, huh? It's used as lubricant and moisturizers. Huh. Might come in handy. 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 Ooh, what's this? There are dark red stains at the sink drain. It seems to be dried blood. Someone must have lost a lot of blood going by how much of it is on the floor. What the hell happened here? Everything and anything. Everything is death. The wallpaper isn't particularly dirty either. Wait, wait. Wallpaper isn't particularly dirty either. It looks like it's been taken good care of. I go inside and flush the toilet. The toilet lets out a horrible coughing noise and spits some of the black water. When I look up, I notice something stuck on the side of the tank. Yeah! I got soul power for just flushing the toilet. What if the worn out talisman is literally just toilet paper? Urgh. Oh god. I don't like that. Do not like that. Why is it worn? It's just a notion. Why does it have to be worn out? The Spanish donkey lies in the corner of the room. I don't imagine what it could be used for. And the part that looks like it was it was the neck is broken and the head is missing. Well gee, I wonder. Kaze, we Kaze, we we fucking got it. <laughs> well Kaze the thing is you found a horse head, but that's literally a Spanish donkey. Motherfucker. I'm just stating what I said. Uh, I thought Spanish Donkey was just a fucking Trojan horse. There's an unnatural space along the wall. Going by the stain, it's likely something was hung there. Yeah. Alright, fuck this room. Fuck this floor. I guess. Yeah. What? No, nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You fucked up already. There's something here. No, no, I'm playing a raid. Oh. Valley always forgets that he's in a raid because he autos and then just, like, leaves his phone on the uh, entire time. Ah, uh, okay. But since I'm actively doing it, I can let him know that it's over and the boss is dead. Right. I put one hand in the bed and leave my weight on it. The spring simply creaks fruitlessly. There are iron bars covering the window. Sturdy bars seem to be a little much if they're only there to stop someone from falling. Okay, we already know that. Wah! Bonchi! In my search for anything, to see if anything's inside, I only get dust on my fingers. The toilet is spewing the horrid stench of sewage. Disgusting. 
Nothing here. Disgusting. 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 Very disgusting. The trash has a giant crack in it. It's probably happened when it was knocked over. All oh, right, the bed. No, I already did this. Try pulling on it, but it doesn't budge. I'll have to lift up the bed a little more if I want to get it out. What do you think? Can you lift this? Well, I can at least hold it up. It'll. I'll just have to give it a try. Make sure you don't hurt your back. Use your legs. One. Two. One. Two. two three, three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. <laughs> oh my god. We both lift the bed up together. And then the then the freaking ghost is like, hate. <laughs> I managed to drag the object out with my foot. <laughs> and Jesus. And then I, and I'm just like, shit! <laughs> and drops the bed. <laughs> On my fucking foot. <laughs> I've got it. Yeah. We can put it down now. Whew. I worked up a sweat. So, what did you find? Motherfucker! Hey. <laughs> uh, strange it hasn't been found until now. Well, no well at least it hasn't been used. <laughs> Gross. Ew. Ew. Look at the bird man on the freaking door. Bunchy! Hello? Who's in the bathroom? Bunchy! Bathtub is stained with dust and slime. Slim. Where the fuck are you, old man? Weird? That's almost everything. Where the fuck is he? Try going up the stairs on my own again? Oh, hey, that device you mentioned. I just realized. Oh, it's an object with an iron cover. I think it's some kind of electrical device. Good job! Wait, was that there? Like this? Masquerade's wife. It's a picture of the masked woman walking with a cane. I turned and moved and watch. Wait, did you just go from the third floor into the third floor again? Yeah. Just see, oh. just see if it triggered anything. Like, I don't know. We're kind, of, we're kind of just stuck here. Uh, uh, I'm missing something. Yeah. Um... I want to say this this bedroom should be something. Oh, I want that. Check that. I did. Damn. Can't have Phoenix right easy mode. You you examine this shit. Got a got a fucking check mark on it. No. Thank God they added that for the fucking HD version. Yeah. <laughs> What happened? If you check something previously, um, to make sure that you don't need to like go back to it, there's a check mark on the Phoenix, right? Oh, the... it's so useful. Before you just have to make sure it wasn't freaking like you know tinted. Uh... Okay, Grudge. Toilet paper is stuck at the bottom of the trash can, but other than that, it's empty. Where the fuck do I go? Everywhere. You go everywhere.
Oh, um, okay, so basically... Basically. Uh, so if Diamond was able to lift the bed, he should also be able to open the elevator doors. Oh yeah, you're right. There was that. Wasn't there? It might have been that one. I tried pulling on the elevator door. It moves slightly if I put all my weight into it. But based on what I can see from the window, the elevator isn't on this floor. Opening it would just make it easier to fall to the bottom. That's a fun notion. Whee! It's impossible to open it alone, but if I had some help, I might be able to force it open. Want to give it a try? Lend me a hand. <laughs> takes off hand. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, really funny buzz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, show, I'll show you what I'm capable of now that I've gotten healthier. On my count. One, two, four. <laughs> we muster all of our strength and try two or three times to force the doors open. Then... I whoa! We we broke the door. There's a sound of something snapping, and the door suddenly slide open. Did did we break it? Shut up! We don't tell Mashida. Uh, <laughs> maybe. It's probably still okay. It looks horribly disfigured. <clears throat> but 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 now we can search inside the elevator. That was really into character there. Really? Are you sure? Let's go on in. <laughs> Do I look that gassy to you? Oh my god. No, no I thought it was just like a, a groan. Oh, maybe I should. Pain. No, that, was, that was a burp. <laughs> I realized that when you said gassy. <laughs> Manually opening the doors with our hands and stepping in feels really weird. Daimon conscientiously closes the door once he comes inside. Why? Doesn't leaving an elevator door open concern you? Ah, uh, true. I think it was just habit that I didn't think about it. Still... Are those spider webs on the ceiling? Yeah, looks like it. Sorry, I, don't I, I don't brought some Chinese food. I don't, <laughs> I don't think we should be here. An enclosed area such as this would be a good place to spin a web. Now then, where should we check first? Uh, we have six floors. And list room numbers from first to six. Touching it coats my finger in dust. Hmm. Hmm, Valley. Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, so the VIP room is on the sixth floor. Sorry, I was, fr I was frantically chewing quietly. <laughs> it's the only one with a different color. List numbered rooms from the first to the sixth. Love the, the corners sixth in this place. Mm. There are cables coming down on the top of the gap, on the top of the hole, and they get blah, blah. Is anyone else the sort of person that will run up the stairs to race the elevator and build it? Yes, absolutely. yeah, I used okay. to do that. Okay. I used to... <laughs> Sam, like, I'm not the only one. No. I do that sure. at my job, except I don't race. I literally just walk, and I meet them down there. It's still faster, yeah. Looks like a, looks like a light used to be there, but it was taken down for whatever reason. I guarantee you, if you ever, like, go in on, on a cruise ship, you'll find kids that are like, you take the elevator, I'll take the stairs, just because they're always next to each other. Yeah. <laughs> For, like, the cabins and stuff. That's cute, though. There's a small keyhole above the operating. I peer into the keyhole. Oh, 
That's the elevator's fire switch. If you stick the key in and turn it, it activates the elevator even in emergencies. Emergencies? What kind? Well, gee, Kaze, what do you fucking think? Um, <laughs> uh, I don't really recall. What? <laughs> You're just like, what? What? <laughs> Everyone take one. What? Huh? Hydrate? Huh? Mm. My uh, eyes redeemed to hydrate. The game crash. Oh! <laughs> oh no. Water on it, my bad. Shit. Yeah. Okay, that's a lot of dialogue we skipping, boys. That's fine. Stuff happens. It's okay, it means I can eat. I was like, why the fuck can't I move? Don't you love when that happens? Valley, who has the most game crashes out of anybody here. Blue screen to dip. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, hold on. I gotta yes, transform. Fit the screen. Uh, come on. Duolingo. Fit the screen the right thing, you bitch. <laughs> Don't forget to share here. All right, yeah, I will. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Sharing is caring. I almost screen shared OBS. No, I mean. Death mark. All right, I. Time for some skippage. Good thing skips are pretty quick here. I know. Me out with my homies. Out in the front. Oh my god. What the fuck? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> right. It should win something like this. Um. Whee! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Yes, man. Wham. Blam. Thank you, man. Now we gotta go get everything again. Oh. These are nowhere you everything gotta is gotta flush the toilet again. I'm filling the toilet. We gotta shimmy the doors again. And we got a condom. Mm, forgot about that bit. <laughs> at least, at least the only thing that's good about this place, they practice safe sex. Man, can you imagine it was a female condom? Or... I keep forgetting those exist. Or, like, one those, or one of those things that you shove up a vagina that, like, keep the tubes closed. Yes, those exist, Valley. Yes. I was aware of the thing that keeps the tubes. I, I wasn't aware it was called the freaking uh, fume condom. Oh, they're two different things, but yeah. Oh, great. Today you learned. What a great stream. <laughs> <laughs> Against my... IUD. I was gonna say, is the is the other thing I was thinking. Of. Well, that sounds familiar. Yeah. Intrauterine device. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> I'm gonna post this in the chat, and that was gonna be like the frick. <laughs> I, I don't know. It depends on how cursy it is. She'll probably love it. Oh, my oh yeah. A lot of right. cursed stuff. Oh no, this isn't cursed. This. Oh, thing. absolutely not. This is this is basic human physiology. <laughs> Calendar rhythm method. Oh, I know that one. The most hilarious part about that is that my mom was doing that, and she still got pregnant with me. Ah! Why is it? Yeah, yeah. Why it's is one of 
It's not 100%. Why is one of them a Harry Potter spell? What? <laughs> Coitus what? interrupt us? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> oh my god, you're right! <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Ali, why are you six? <laughs> no, it is interruptus, but coitus interruptus. Oh my god. Your boyfriend, man. I know. I know. Don't you love him? I love oh! him. Oh! It was out the oh. door! I missed it! Ooh. Yo, you should load it up again. Just to load it up again. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be totally okay for you to load it up again just so you can see it. That wasn't really that long, to be honest. The funny thing is he just happened to freaking gloss over it, but it triggered yeah. it. A lot of skipping and re restarting in here, boy. <laughs> it's maybe it's save fine. when we get to the hotel, too. Okay, so our game just, just... crashed, so we're just doing this over again. <laughs> <laughs> Our game crashed, but it restarted itself very conveniently at the title screen, so we're just gonna <laughs> go right on through. Bang! The game crashed. What the fuck?! Did it the game actually- Oh wait, no, 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 we're good, we're good. <laughs> okay, this froze. I swear to god. It actually froze there, I'm like, what? The game didn't like us talking shit. Well, maybe you <laughs> fuck me off somewhere else. All right, we're going straight in the elevator. Fuck it. Hell yeah! Just don't forget to go pick up all your items later. I will. But. I forgot Spermicide existed. Yeah. It is exactly what it sounds like. I mean, I know it's exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> what? Okay, now. Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, <laughs> look, I know I missed it the first time, but that wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> Waifu, waifu. We did force the doors out, after all. If we broke them while doing that, we might need to use the fire switch. Still, you're pretty well informed. How did we start this conversation all of a sudden? Mm -hmm. I learned that during a disaster drill when I worked at a hospital. We were lectured to prepare us for anything that might happen. How nice that sperm can be reabsorbed into the male body, but a woman gets her freaking period, it has to come out! I have never heard that one before. We that, what? <laughs> it, it gets reabsorbed into the human body? Apparently. How? I don't know. Where, where would it go? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna and, start and, reading more of this. And under what circumstances <laughs> would we have to freaking... Does this have does this have anything to do with the fact that sperm actually is good for the skin? I I don't know, but it I'm reading something about uh basil gel, basil where gel. it prevents the sperm from like leaving mm -hmm. the, the the male body, and then because it fails to leave, it just kind of gets reabsorbed. Oh uh, oh okay I get it wow, okay so that's unfair. <laughs> <laughs> Unfair. Do you have a key you think we can use? You should try it. Also, why am I thinking of people talking about sexual uh, birth control <laughs> methods? We haven't even found something like that in this playthrough yet. <laughs> oh. Look, open wires. Hmm. Wait. Is it just me or something's off? It is indeed odd. The buttons only go up to the fifth floor. And yet... The floor the says... The floor guide says there's a sixth floor. That is quite concerning. 
Maybe you're gonna get to the sixth floor by using the stairs? I don't think so. It says the sixth floor has the deluxe suite. I've never heard of a VIP room that you can get to using the stairs. That's a good point. Maybe they, they wouldn't make their guests of honor use the stairs. But then... What does this discrepancy mean? I suddenly remember how Banshee was fixated on the elevator. Like he somehow knew it held a secret all along. In the end... It doesn't even matter. We'll just have to try and get moving. Get it moving. Huh? Get, get what moving? What do you think we are, you dingus? <laughs> this elevator. Like what Banshee was saying. Dots. Diamond stares at me, his face a mask of utter disbelief. You know Banshee has mysterious powers. Maybe we just need to bet on them. Bet. Bet. Though his idea a... has a huge hole in it. Are you a gambling man, Kaze? <laughs> Have you known me for this past month to not be... <laughs> The problem is just the problem is how we go about getting it to move. I don't have the slightest idea. Hmm, I see now. I thought he was going to get irritated with me, but Diamond thinks about something for a while. Then he quit. Then he slowly starts talking. Kaze, to be honest, I've been giving it a lot of thought since then. A lot of thought to what? Why we survived. Or more, why the spirits were vanquished. I've been considering the reason. Because I'm the main character. <laughs> this isn't always about you, you narcissistic prick. Well, yeah, well, you're green. Wow. Um, it's surprising to hear him talk about that. Zombies have layers, you know. Ogres have, have <laughs> Ogres have layers. Ogres have layers. Onions have layers. You get it. <laughs> you get it. He speaks as if recounting something painful. The reason why, it's clear that nothing physical was behind it. I get the feeling they were vanquished for a more meaningful reason. Mm. Otherwise, that soldier wouldn't have crumbled just from one hit with a chisel. Which leads me to one answer. The fights we experienced with the spirits weren't actual fights. More rituals with certain conventions. Wish they told people that in the beginning of the game. Rituals? Yes, just like religious ceremonies. Rituals like that are presented to the spirits. A ritual is a reenactment of something. Obviously, it doesn't actually take place. But maybe going through the motions satisfies those on the other side. There's one. Then one's purpose is accomplished. In our case, the spirits were vanquished. Then the marks disappeared. It's all conceptual, but it's a convincing argument, especially for those of personal experience. For example, we van we vanquished Hanahiko with lipstick and a hand mirror. But we were essentially reenacting his memories of his mother. And if you define a ritual as a reenactment, then that means our fights were rituals. I understand that, but... What about the elevator? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to the elevator, Diamond. Does this require a ritual too? That was my point. We must fix the elevator. That much is clear. But perhaps we only need a ritual. In other words, go through the motions. So he's saying we need to perform some kind of ritual to get the elevator moving. It's almost like playing house. This isn't playtime. Rituals are serious. No adult would get excited over a groundbreaking ceremony. 
Ah, uh, true. If this is the work of a being caught up in some delusion like the spirits, a ritual might make something happen. The investigation was entrusted to you. Therefore, I leave the decision to you. And the ritual is to go to third base with the ghost. Absent is... See what I tell you! What I tell Please. you! <laughs> no, I was commenting. <laughs> Pullout has never been more pie. <laughs> Freaking no. As Valley puts it, a Harry Potter spell. Harry Potter, Harry Potter, uh. Harry Potter, Harry Potter, ooh, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, yeah. <laughs> That's really good. Ron Weasley! Oh my god. Hermione! 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 Dumbledore! Okay, I'm gonna save here just so. If it crashes, it's just okay. Just it's gonna cow. crash next time at the saving, so it's all corrupted. Oh, then I'm just not playing this game anymore. We're just moving <laughs> on. <laughs> just moving on. Next one. Okay, yeah, there was nothing here. The condoms on the other side. <laughs> what? The condoms under the other bed. Yeah, I told you she'd just take it in strides. <laughs> and we return to the third floor. Mm hmm. This is interesting. Wait, no, that's Banshee. Mm hmm. This is interesting. Banshee is there even though we were here before and he wasn't there. He's appreciating a painting on the wall and mumbling something. What's so interesting about that painting? What are you doing? You aren't planning on stealing that, are you? Ha! Even I can tell this painting ain't worth a dime. I was just giving it a good look-see. A look-see? Well, these paintings seem to have a specific order to view them. Oh. See ya! I'm gonna go look somewhere else. Thanks. Whee! Oh my god. <laughs> Banshee disappeared towards the stairs. Fantastic. A specific order to view them. Uh huh. Okay, that makes sense. I never would have fucking thought that though. So thanks, really? Banshee. <laughs> no, I haven't been paying that much attention. Oh, I was gonna say, I'm like, that was the first thing I thought when I, with like, the second painting we saw. When, when Valerie was going through this, I'm like, this is gonna be in some sort of order. Whee! <laughs> Every time we go back to the ground floor, you just hear Banshee. <laughs> who nanny, who nanny, who nanny? <laughs> nanny, 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 nanny. Hello, oh, is anyone in there? Okay, oh, have a good day. Sorry, you could have just said occupied. I'm about you and then a string bean on the trampoline. That's what I'm gonna do when I'm like a freaking. If I become a ghost and I'm like haunting a bathroom, I'm just gonna smear in blood. <laughs> Understandable, have a good day. <laughs> I now have all the tools for the sex. What if before them?
Yan na Can you really imagine a six-year-old just yelling? Yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> this popcorn is poggers! This popcorn? Now, we're, we're getting into that. That's gonna be what's happening. <laughs> I mean, mm, if ten-year-olds are saying it, I'm sure six-year-olds aren't that far off. Ooh, popcorn. <laughs> Do you want popcorn now? Why are you talking to me like I'm a baby? No, I mean, I'm because... sorry. Did I offend you, poor one, little guy? <laughs> Masquerade's wife. It's a picture of a woman gazing at a man. Ignore. Okay. Ignore. Don't be so mad. <laughs> be glad. With glad plastic. Not, not mad. You're not mad. Masquerade not, wife. Actually. It's a picture of a masked woman wearing a wedding gown. Don't patronize me, bitch. <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry, what do you call me? Um, don't patronize me, woman. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Hey! Oh, no, there's hair. A lot of hair. Yeah. I don't like this. I don't they, like that either. They all look like robots with, with hair growing out their eye sockets. I hate how... Yes. I open the cover and peek inside. I don't know what the actual name for it, but I find a device that looks like a circuit board. Hmm. And of course, it's broken. Let's stop reading about the premature ejaculation and continue on with the game. We'll have to fix this if we want to get the elevator moving. Just like the old man said, it normally doesn't move without electricity. Normally doesn't? So sometimes it does? Of course, we don't have to actually fix it. So long as we can get it moving. Uh. That was my line. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> so long as we can get it moving, <laughs> we'll only be performing a repairing ritual. That's all we can do. By the way, Kaze, sorry for stealing your line. Diamond faces pales further as he groans. All of my faces pale further. There's stuff hanging everywhere. I think it's human hair. Yay. Sweat drips down my neck, and gas neck. leaves my buttocks. Neck. My <laughs> okay. crack. My pussy and my crack. It certainly does look that way. Well, we can only ignore it for now. Yeah, good idea. I'm trying to put. I'm gonna touch it! <laughs> trying to put it from my mind, I reach out to the circuit board. Just then, I notice something weird. What's that noise? When I hold my head close to the circuit board, I hear a faint buzzing. That's just electricity. It's coming from the circuit board. I think that's Something wrong. might be vibrating inside it. That's often the case with electrical devices. You're right. It's vibrating. Touching the case with my fingers, I can feel the vibration. He was right. The board is vibrating. So that must be why. Diamond nods to himself. There aren't any spider webs here. What do you mean? Nothing. I had expected this place to be covered with spider webs like the elevator. It was strange to see it wasn't. It's probably because of this noise. Spiders hate small vibrations like this. I've heard that's why they don't spin webs by motors or things like that. Huh. That's uh, not really relevant. Now, what should we do about this? The copper bar is broken. That's the only piece that's obviously damaged. I try moving the switch. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it.
Okay, I didn't want to find out there was just like some weird shit with that. Okay, leave this alone. Okay, uh... Okay, so we, we, we saw the wedding gown first. Well, we saw the- no, we saw the man. And, and then now we saw the wedding gown, so go back to the third floor. Although I just realized something. I take out the emergency key out of my bag and check for the keys on it. I find a small key that has the word fire engraved on it. I stick it in the fire switch. I slowly turn it to the on position, but I can't turn it. It doesn't seem lubricated enough. If I try to force it, it might break. I think that's the right key, but you might need to put some oil on it. I have something better. Uh... <laughs> I smear the Vaseline around the keyhole. Ah, oh, nothing like good foreplay. It's nothing more than a replacement for oil, but it might help the key slide better. Uh, talk about a lock and key model. I stick it in the fire switch. I slowly turn it in the key. on position. Something clicks. But nothing happens. Seems like I'll need to get something else to get the elevator to move. I take the emergency key out of the keyhole. So now you just have a lubricated key in your stuff. Hell yeah! So even if you have lubrication and proper preparation, if they're not turned on, it doesn't do anything. Oh my god! <laughs> what? I was just talking about the elevator! I know! But you're right! What? Why are you so... Why are you being so weird? I was just describing the situation. Man, you got a dirty mind, Maya. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's disgusting. Mm. Wow. <laughs> mm. Where are we going now? To the third floor. We shall reach heaven through violence. We shall reach heaven through violence. There's a picture of the masked woman walking around with a cane. I guess it's. Walking with a cane. Hey, I'm walking here! What's that? Oh, shit! Yay. Fucked up. The central switch is badly damaged. Everything else looks fine. Looks like it's functioning fine. I tried pressing the switch, but it's broken, so I can't get it to stay. If I had something like a rubber band, I might be... <laughs> I take out the contraceptive. This isn't the original purpose, but it's still rubber. If I stretch it, it should work like a rubber band. <clears throat> Oh, that is resourceful. <laughs> I stretch the contraceptive with both hands and hook it on the switch, just like they taught me in sex ed. Oh my god. It, takes, how you doing? it takes more strength than I expected. Up. I managed to connect the ends and fix the switch in place. Huh, you're pretty imaginative. No, I am just a pervert. Maybe I... it helps that the switch is shaped like a penis. It wasn't shaped like a penis. The contraceptive is attacked. Is Why would I remove Man, it? My forehead really hurts right now. <laughs> maybe, you should, maybe you should stop slapping it. Yeah, are you, are you alright, Maya? I'm fine. You sure? Everything's fine. She's kind of on edge because she hasn't been able to talk because the, one of her roles are here. Oh, yes. That's definitely it. <laughs> yeah. She just really loves voice acting. Yes. So she's extremely disappointed. Mm. I understand everything about that, Maya. It's all right. Give me a break. I'm fucking tired, okay? Let me... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
Who said anything about you, Valley? You're fine. You did nothing huh? wrong. Oh, okay, but you don't feel the fucking searing gaze from my, uh, from 600 miles away. <laughs> from 600 miles away. No, because, because of course, Maya is not my girlfriend. Therefore, I don't deal with this. That's I don't exactly, deal with it. That's exactly the reason you don't notice anything. I, I wish they would clean up after their fucking orgy in the bathtub. It's fucking hell, man. What? I'm, I'm trying. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying to clean up after the mess that the ghost made. You know, by vanquishing evil. And I don't know what to do. I'm Vanquish. fighting evil by moonlight. I'm not winning, but I'm not winning love by daylight. Aw, oh, homie. <laughs> but are you ever running from a real fight? Is the one called Sailor. <laughs> now you see. That I need to be in a real fight for that. Ah, uh, come on! Where? Clearly, I need something. Bucking met. I need something for that bar. What were you gonna say? Uh, can I see your items? I never mind to get it. I was saying. Really? <laughs> I was saying. Metal conducts electricity, right? I see. So electricity will be able to pass through like that. Yeah, I'm not sure it'll actually work, though. It might be enough for what we're trying to accomplish now. I force the spoon between the bars. And it sticks in place rather nicely. Hit the button. Okay. Back to the second floor. All right, back to the lab again. She's still wet and ready to accept the key. Something clicks, then... Whoa! Electricity! I've done it! Fuck you, Hot Edison! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I almost said Einstein, don't fucking say anything. Okay, okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. The elevator automatically moves to the first floor. Diamond groans as he wipes sweat off his face. I, I can't believe it. It actually moved. You don't know too many engineers, do you? Wait a second. You're the one who suggested we do a ritual. Uh, I suppose so. Still, I'm shocked. It's not even that much of a fucking ritual, but okay. But now, finally. Yeah. We might be able to go above the third floor. Yay! Exactly. I wonder what we'll find. Have you saved recently? <laughs> you two do the exact same thing. So when was the last time you saved? Saves. <laughs> Did we just go back to the third floor? I mean, the first floor? Yeah, yeah. it said it, said it went to the first said. floor. Come on. To the fourth! To the fourth floor! You know, four. The number for that. Four. Yay. Man, why do you have to say that? <laughs> hey. You knew this. Yeah, you had to remind me. <laughs> I'm an American. I don't believe in that. Yeah, yeah. I'm an American. Let's go. We're gonna die. You are gonna die. Oh, most likely. The gloomy hallway stretches out ahead of us. This doesn't look that much different from the lower floors. Why is my flashlight not on? <laughs> on! It's her. 
red raincoat appears in the darkness. My grip on the flashlight becomes sweaty. Mom spaghetti. That's knees weak, arms are heavy. Mom and I sweat already. Mom's Mom spaghetti. spaghetti. Diamond takes a step back. Sir, sir, sir. Other people are unnecessary. Oh, poor Nao doesn't get to voice the ghost. Yeah, I was thinking that. I'm like, yeah. She was great for the You're ghost the too. You're the only one I meant. See, sir. I don't like gross or scary things. She's calling me sir again. She seems like she'll listen to what I have to say. I should try asking her something this time. Anything, really. I just need a clue. Anything that can help save Hiro. Who's suffering in pain at this very moment. Okay. <laughs> Mind made up. I take a deep breath, but... <sighs> Diamond stumbles over something and falls. Hey! Are you okay? Sorry. Nothing's wrong. Huh? Diamond falls silent as she tries to stand up. I look over at him and I immediately see it. The thing Diamond stumbled over his. Ah! Oh no! Diamond Holy. instinctively scrambles back. <laughs> what is that? Something that looks like a giant cocoon is sticking in the ground. She is scarf and a half entangled in the glitter in the glittering thread. It looked familiar. No, it can't be! Bunchy! <laughs> oh man, you're kidding. Hey Ed, what's up? Bunchy! Can you hear me? Please say something! Hey Ed. You you you, you finished uh making a new widow, yeah. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I hear a muffled voice from the cocoon. From the cocoon. He's alive! Not for long! Oh my god. Spiders! I quickly move and shoot them away. But I see a red figure out of the corner of my eye. Oh, fuck. Yeah! Hell, hell, hell. Diamond's so panicked, he's unintelligible. But I know what he's trying to say. Escaping to the elevator is your only option. Go! Go! Together we rip Banshee off the floor. Carrying him like a log, we stumble to the elevator. We fall into the elevator and repeatedly slam the button just before the first floor. <laughs> remember, remember that thing da Date says. Uh, it's, it's, it says here, mashing on the door close button doesn't do anything at all. Huh? That's what it says. <laughs> Bonchi, can you hear me? Hey, oh, wow. say You're something. Oh, hey. Hey, Melon, thanks for the host. Thanks for popping by too, man. How you doing? Anyway. Diamond tries to give medical treatment. Damn it. He's no longer responding. His body's going rigid. As Diamond focuses on helping Banshee, I see something black squirming by his shoulder. Also, that is not true. You you can still make them waifu. Uh -huh. Yeah, but is that, like, respectful? <laughs> Man. Not that it's ever been about respect. Man, it's your thirst. Not, 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 they don't have a say at the moment. Fuck. Especially since Lowell's dead! <laughs> Spoilers for Library of Rune on the street. Diamond! <laughs> huh? Ah! I hate that. I Those spiders become, are so big. I will I, become the Spider Man. My blink, and suddenly the entire elevator is filled with ringling shadows. Mm -hmm. They come in one after another. Oh fuck! I didn't, I didn't read anything for this. Woo! Oh god! A swarm of spiders. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Find the source. They have to be getting in from somewhere. 
I hastily look around the elevator. But I don't see any spot like that. They just look like they're gushing out of the wall. Oh, fuck. Hey, we're dead. Man. <laughs> oh, no. Man, so many of these, like, you just gotta guess now. I feel sharp pain. Ugh. I guess smashing them should have been the instinct. Well, I'll, I'll let that do it. <laughs> like, <laughs> Diamond's painful grunts sound so far I, away. I just got healthier. I'm wrapped up in the infinite silence. Game over. All right, let's try that again. Because that was bullshit. And there was no way for me to prepare for that. <laughs> Yell loudly. Actually, they, they don't like vibration, but... I don't think yelling would be vibrating enough. I use my hand and feet to crush all the spiders I can reach. Just then a sharp pain runs through me. Of, of course, of course. I, I, I should have just listened. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're in a fucking... Just... We're in an elevator, I'm an idiot. The reverberations. Look, I don't expect a that the actual... Blue reverberation! Run! Let's go. I will make sure to take your head for that one later. Don't worry. <laughs> Reverb! <laughs> I bend over and yell loud enough to wreck my throat. The spiders visible the spiders visible stop moving for a moment. Oh fuck. Diamond, I think I shat myself! <laughs> They're still coming. What's that smell? <laughs> oh, that we was me. We need something stronger. Yell with me too, then. You're right. Oh. Use the mini massager. Kick the elevator. Oh, here we go. Kick, kick, kick. I kick the walls of the elevator like I'm delivering a warning shot, but the spiders ignore it and keep coming. Oh, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. We now have three Spider-Men in Japan. Oh my god. Me, a mini massager. How the fuck would that work, man? It probably wouldn't. In an elevator like this, though? Filled with spiders? Didn't Diamond say something about... Yeah, they hate vibration, but like... Yelling loudly is not strong enough. I doubt a fucking mini massage is gonna be it. But you know what? Let's it's try it anyway. You literally tried I take the massager out of my bag and press it against the wall and turn it on. A growling vibration runs through the what? It's a Do you metal... remember what kind of vibrator this is? You remember where we are? <laughs> it says a mini massager, and I de look. I don't expect it to have a setting that's wombo. Okay? Wombo. <laughs> We're in a Wombo hotel. It better have a Wombo setting in my opinion. The spiders suddenly start acting strange. Damn, I went from five viewers to two viewers. What happened, man? I'm sorry. It's okay. The creatures, van the creatures vanish instantly. As if they'd only been a mirage. What's going on? Yeah, I was desperate, but I can't believe that thing had enough vibration to scare. See? Yeah, he, yeah, he didn't know either. <laughs> what do you want? As I'm puzzling out why, Ugh! something slams into the elevator door hard. Hurry up and get the elevator going. Right, I need to hit a button. But then I realize, I already pushed the button a ton of times! I press the button for the first floor again. It only clicks. This metal box is stranding us! Why isn't it moving?! Ah, oh, fuck. Whoa! <laughs> uh, it's her! Hurry, hurry! It's obvious who she is! Move! 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 I pray silently as I jam the button. 
Then... Ugh. Ding, 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 dong. We stumbled out of the elevator without checking to see where we stopped. Uh, we're in the first floor lobby. Did we escape? Yeah. For whatever reason, the elevator decided to move at the very last second. I doubt my I doubt my praying actually worked, but I'm not sure what happened. But I think we're safe. I breathe a sigh of relief. And a figure appeared in the gloom. You fucker. <laughs> Why were you guys in there? Ata! Um, you're, you're both covered in sweat. Ata, I swear to fucking god. <laughs> Did something happen? Did you go to work like that? Of course something... Huh? Wait. Ata. Did you call the elevator down here? What? Yeah, I mean, it looked like it worked, so I... Did I do something wrong? Frick, no! Ata holds himself back timidly. It sounds like he thinks I'm mad at him. <sighs> Diamond step silently steps up to him. Then suddenly gives him a <laughs> hug. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ada. Well done. If you hadn't been here, we would have. Same though. True, you couldn't have asked for better timing. I can't be more grateful that Suzu's contacted Ada. Ada. What's more important right now? Oh, that's right. He needs emergency treatment. Come help me with him, Ada. Okay. Completely clueless, Ata helps us drag a white lump out of the elevator. What is this creepy thing? I hesitate for a moment before I reply. But he should know. Banshi Ito. The old man from the underground shelter. What? What? <laughs> Whoa, idiot! Don't drop him! Imagine if he was the one holding him up by the head. God. Thank God. I don't get back to Kujo Mansion until almost midnight. All alone. My exhausted body groans in pain as I collapse on the sofa. My head feels heavy, like it's in a fog. To top it off, things are worse than yesterday now. Banshi was sent to Diamond's hospital and admitted and immediately admitted. He's no longer conscious. And untrained eyes would say he's just sleepy, but he's actually fallen into a deep coma. His condition is very serious. Poor Banshee. To be honest, I wanted to go along and do something to help, but Diamond chased me out of the hospital. He said I'm overworked and sleep deprived. Ata stay behind, at least. Not that he's replacing me, but it's good he's there. I'm frustrated with myself for thinking he'd be useless. Once everything is over, I definitely need to thank Suzu. First hero, and now Banshee. At this rate, even if I keep investigating, if I don't find any clues, Thinking about it makes my stomach hurt. <sighs> Those two might never recover. And that's just assuming their condition stabilize. If they get worse, something even ter even more terrible could happen. I put my head into my hands and sigh. The red raincoat flashes in the darkness. What should I do? How do I? I have to keep investigating tomorrow. Once I finish looking through these documents, I should head straight to bed. Ah, 
rest. I have to do, go investigate again tomorrow. They need to go to bed early and rest. <laughs> early morning. And I get the worst wake-up call ever. A severe pain threatens to split my head. The mysterious headache from yesterday is back with a vengeance. I meant to go to Diamond's Hospital to see Hiro and Banshee while I was lights out. Ugh. Spots flashes before my eyes. I can't even sit up. I pull the sheets up and wait for it to pass. I'm only just able to move by the time the sun is setting. Damn. Thunder rumbles in the distance. Sounds like rain again. Great. I press my fingers to my temple to check. The whirlwind of pain has once again disappeared without a trace. Nice sigh. Fuck. Damn. Mashita calls as I'm making coffee in the kitchen. He says he'll come along for tonight's investigation. He must have finally wrapped up his other cases. He mentioned that he dropped by the hospital in between cases to see Hiro and Banshi. Ezu, welcome! <laughs> hey, Ezu! It's like harassing them in the. Hey, man. Hey, man, you still, got, you still got your audience? You mind hosting with your audience? You know. I kind of need, Ooh. I kind of need the viewership, homie. I'm crying. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm crying. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, what I actually noticed, okay. like, I don't know if the mod was, like, bugging out a bit, but it went from like three viewers to eleven for a little bit. Really? What? Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. My bad. I was just taking a look at it, but we're back down to two for some reason. Hmm. I saw it at eleven. As is, as Unless it decided to say, oh, it's one and one. As his viewers just don't like me. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. It's not Library Aruna content. I understand. I will wish you Library Aruna. Well, we're gonna do. We're gonna do our Library Aruna races one day. Okay. Uh, Seems they went berserk when they awoke and and are now restrained. They refuse to eat. Relying on IVs won't work forever. I didn't expect the result. The report to be good, but I think that's Diamond. This is a critical point in the case. Bef oh. That's Mashita. Oh, well, that works. <clears throat> Before he hangs up, Mashita utters a warning. Then, right. this is the 11th hour. Mashita doesn't offer a reply. That's a, ni that's a nice little nod. Red lights outside the rain-soaked window are hazing like a wilting flower. It's time to head out. Did you save? Hell yeah. Good, good thing I did it before you say anything. Hell yeah. <laughs> I park the car in the parking lot as always and walk over to the street in the rain. I pass down the familiar road to hotel. You're late. What were you doing? A man in a trench coat cuts an imposing figure on the white street corner glittering in lights. You know damn well time is of the essence right now. Diamond's prepared for the worst too. He's made arrangements to transfer them. To transfer them? Oh. It must be in pretty bad condition, then. I didn't mention this over the phone, but I met someone at Diamond's Hospital. I ran into Sho Nagashima. Oh, hey! The boy! Sho! Oh, no, how's that gonna seem Sho? Ah! <laughs> it just gets worse. Sho? What was he doing there? You want to message her about Sho? She can at least pop I, in the I stream. Um... I think she's actually lurking right now. Uh, is she? But I don't know. 
You can just she's, huh? she's offline on Discord. Yeah, just so. fucking just message her. It doesn't matter. Boy show mate will be some showing up. Oh yeah, go ahead. Some of, it, some of his gang hangs out here. I guess we're on topic with them. They've seen people in and out of the hotel. Nagashima heard about it and figured they were talking about you. He contacted the fortune teller and well. So now Shows knows about the case too. Ugh. Why didn't she just keep quiet? That old lady hands out business cards to anyone and everyone. It's a real pain. So, did you talk to Show? Uh, why would I? He cornered me, asking for info on the case, but I drove him off. I suddenly feel uneasy. You didn't say anything unnecessary, did you? Of course not. I just said to stay out of grown-up matters. <sighs> For just a moment, my vision tunnels and a blood vessel in my head throbs. Something wrong? No, I'm fine. I'm sure he doesn't want show involved either. But I really should have considered his words more carefully. I hear footsteps coming from behind me. It can't be. Show! I raise my head with a sudden sense of dread. But it's only Moe Watanabe. Oh, thank goodness. You're here after all. Good thing I came straight here. I got the results you asked me for. I look at her blankly for a moment. But then, I remember I asked her to use her connections to investigate the rumors. R right. Thanks. There's no time. Give us the short version. Oh, okay. Then I'll only cover the really important parts. I heard something amazing from someone who was there at the time. What? Like a hotel employee? No, not like that. Jeez. When I say someone who was there... I obviously mean one of the high school girls who was up to no good. Ugh. You talk to one? This is legit, right? Oh. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Oh. That makes sense. That was Mashi does line. Yeah. What was the line? This is this is legit, right? This is legit, right? Even Mashida is interested. Only the people who use Masquerade really know what happened there. Hearing from someone involved is best. Yeah, her name's Akko. The editorial department helped me track her down. Uh. She went to a nearby high school and and did this part-time job, apparently. And that's what- and what's really important is that Akko said- what Akko said about her classmate, Esko. Wow. Moe pulls a voice recorder from her bag and hits the play button. Yeah, a friend introduced me to a part-time job. It was a whim- it was whimsical. Uh, I mean, I just did it on a whim. Yeah, so we're supposed to meet at that hotel, Masquerade. And there's a system there where someone introduces us to customers. You get a lot of money from it, so everyone was dying to get hired. But one day there was like, an accident? Incident. Incident? Someone at school found out about the job. Some goody two-shoes class rep, Esco, said she was gonna tell her teacher, Enmura. Everyone freaked out and apologized to her saying they'd stop. She wouldn't listen. If our parents found out, it'd be the worst thing ever. We begged, but she didn't budge. In the end, she left class saying she was going to the police with Enmora. Is, is the little red Esco? We were totally freaking out, so I went to the hotel that night. I mean, at that point, there was no harm in going, you know? <laughs> but then, 
she was there. Esco was standing in front of M Masquerade in the drizzling rain. Anime boy or real boy? In a red raincoat. She'd said she was going to the police, so who knows why she was at the hotel. But it made us all jumpy and on edge every day after that. Except nothing ever happened. Soon after that, Masquerade shut down. I guess they uncovered something. Huh? The job? Yeah, I completely quit after that. <laughs> Loud. That's Akko's testimony. Just the important parts, though. I've always got a fascinating first hand account. The rumors of Red Riding Hood and what was written in the guest books we found in the hotel. All the pieces are in that girl's confession. So, what ended up happening to Esco? I don't know exactly, but apparently she stopped coming to school. Uh, according to Aiko, Akko, she just suddenly stopped showing up. Mashida snorts. Aiko probably. It's too perfect. She was probably just being overdramatic. Especially that part about the red raincoat. Most people use an umbrella when it's raining. Most people. And that's true. Mashida's right. It's possible that the raincoat was a sign for someone she was waiting for, but... Hardly anyone comes down this street. It doesn't really fit. Is that all you have to tell us? Then hurry up and go home. Um, so I really can't come with you? I worked really hard, you know. I will hit you over the head. Apparently, Moe really wants to come along. I do feel bad. She worked and got us that info just so she can investigate with us. But... Sorry, but you shouldn't be here. There have already been two victims. We can't get you wrapped up in this, too. Um, okay. I understand. Moe nods. I guess she's already over it. He... You better tell me all about it later. And be careful. She sounds worried about me. She disappears around the street corner. A siren echoes on the wind, and a natural howl in the distance. I look up the masquerades lo looming at us, looming around us. What the bleh? Looming before us. What in the hell happened inside that chunk of concrete? There's always a tragic cause to the birth of a spirit. Red Riding Hood must be the same. But I can't watch my friends die. I slowly step forward, trying to escape from the unease that's threatening to engulf me. It's not right for the dead to meddle with the living. Mashida mothers beside me. Is that a personal creed? No, just what I think. Mashida clicks his tongue. Which is... Look for that testimony again. Excuse me. After that night, Esco stopped coming to the school for some reason. The police never got involved. After what happened, why in the world didn't Esco go to the police? She got murdered. All right, let's go. Hey. As I step into the lobby, Mashida stops in front of me. What's wrong? What a fantastic job you've done here. Huh? What are you talking about? Look. Yay. What? The lobby looks completely different. The room is covered in white. No. It wasn't like this yesterday. 
thought so. Someone really went these, to town here. These are your decorator, man. Webs. Oh, better than what I was thinking. Mashida touch. This never mind. <laughs> Mashida touches one of the floating threads. Looks like she's up the ante. Bring it. Time to make our appointment with our lady friend. Just then. The groan of the elevator moving echoes. Did the elevator just come back to the first floor? That'd mean... Someone's already here. Did you see which floor it came from? Oh, God, shows in here. No, I wasn't looking. No, I feel like it took... Though I feel like it took a while between then, between when I heard the noise and its arrival. I'm betting I'm it's betting one it's of the... Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm betting it's one of the upper floors. <laughs> Maybe the fourth or fifth. Yesterday we got the elevator working and managed to get to the fourth. But because of what happened to Banshee, we weren't able to investigate any higher. Okay, let's start on the fourth floor. We got the boy now. We're gonna get the other boy. The literal boy. Left elevator, right elevator. Masquerade wife. It's a picture of a masked girl running down a trail. Oh boy. Okay, let's go up. And pull open the drawer and find a notebook. Got mass guestbook 401. What's that? A guestbook provided by the hotel. Guests write about their experiences in it. I glance through the pages. This guestbook's entries are even clearly different from all the other ones. It covers a number of horrifying, horrifying topics, such as devil worship and different kinds of torture. Every page is crammed with stuff like that. It's impossible to tell which ones are delusions and which one actually took place. The only thing I can say for sure is that it's surging with a twisted, single-minded appetite. I silently hand over the guest book. Mashida skims through it, then smirks. <laughs> That's quite the hobby. The handwriting differs by page. This was written by several guests. I find that hard to believe. I sincerely doubt there are so many people in the world who have such a unique hobby. They're like moths drawn to a flame. You wouldn't even know to look at them. The pieces are finally coming together. Seems this hotel offered a special service for its perverted guests. You mean... The kind of stuff written in the guest book? Yeah. The kids working that part-time job were probably part of it too. Guaranteed their safety and complete confidentiality, of course. After all, the one who sold his soul was probably the most nervous about that. Still, these people have quite the imagination. Mashida mutters sarcastically as he casually leaps through the pages. He then he stops. Hey, this phrase. You know what it means? The phrase Mashida is pointing out is Jorogumo's punishment. Jorogumo? Huh. It's a spider monster from Japanese folklore that can shape shift into a beautiful woman. Ah, so you do know about it. Thanks so much for the info dump. I ignore the hint of sarcasm in his voice and read the rest of the pages. Jorogumo's punishment is a recreation of a certain legend. You capture the largest spider you can find. A wild one would be best. Sharpen the sacrifice's sense with drugs and use a mouth speculum and to keep mouth open. Then throw the spider into their mouth. 
If they manage to swallow it, they're innocent. If they don't, or the spider escapes, they're guilty. It's a witch trial meant to judge true from lie. So sad. If I get a sacrifice that needs punishing, I'd like to try it out immediately. <sighs> Can't be that. It can't be that what Britain here was actually. Did someone actually do this? Who knows? We're getting added a lot. Uh, what do you want? <laughs> getting added a lot. Uh, someone wants to talk to me, but I'm streaming. Hey. Calm down. Take a deep breath. Yeah. It's okay. I'm calm. No, you're fucking not. Shut the fuck up. No, you first. I doubt Mashita really believes me. It's obvious that I'm totally rattled. Little asshole. Don't forget, Kazuki. <laughs> we can't die here. Of course. I know that. I try to Let's keep get my, a move on. I try to keep my reply as steady as possible, but my hands keep shaking as I put the guest book in my bag. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that got me. She just wanted to say hi, man. Fuck that got me. <laughs> just conveniently after the now, brand new spider webs. Was this web built last night? Okay, now even perfectly normal spiders are webs are looking to, are starting to look eerie. Uh. It's a trash can with a lid. I turn it upside down and shake it. A wad of paper falls out. Worn out talisman. So Once again. Power. Once again, probably toilet paper. <laughs> Used up too. Hopefully it's not something else absorbent. Some kind of slime is stuck to the mirror, so my reflection's hard to see. Yeah. Okay, we can't Ew. Okay, so I think we're done. Malik. With... Ew. <laughs> Ew. A veteran a veterinary a very veterinary... a Venetian mask Venetian. is on the wall. Venetian. I pick the mask up and find a talisman underneath. Oh, come what the? Well, <laughs> you know what that means. I'm I'm very scared. No, you're not. A large. You're fine. Uh, shut up. I, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> a large air conditioning unit attached to the ceiling. It's stained. But <laughs> no one can read today. Uh, Reading's overrated. I don't. I don't want to read. I want to get to the juicy stuff. Whoa. Speaking of, ring, ring. phone call, phone call. I hear a faint laugh. Oh, I don't hear anything more coming from it. Would you actually pick up the phone if you were in this situation? No. Yeah. Okay. I feel like the mask is staring at me. I take it down there, examine it, but it's just a mask. It still feels like it's staring at me, though. I hate. I am. I do not like masks. Why the fuck do they even have masks there? Mask right? Weird. Freaking kinky. There's dark red water in the bathtub. My nose rebels at the stench of iron. Yay! A horribly stained sink. I don't want to do this, but I need to check it. I need to check it out. I shut my eyes and stick my fingers down the drain. I, hate that. I touch something hard. I like to be dry, right? Something cylindrical is stuck down there. Sadly, my fingers don't seem to be able to reach it. Something in there? It's often a prime location to hide incriminating objects. Mm. It's likely an important piece of evidence. We should get it. Well, how can we get it? How 
can we get it? I would just... Just in case, for some reason, I'm, I'm missing something. Alright, we'll come back later. We'll be back. We'll be back right after these messages. Let's go to the fifth floor. I plead the fifth. And outside is hell waiting for me. Ew. Masquerade wife. It's a picture of a masked wife holding boat, holding hands with a child. Okay, after marriage. I open the door and check the switchboard, but nothing is broken. Yay. Finally, something works. Something works. Hey, try the light inside. I don't know why I'm not. Ah. Huh. That's why you're not. Our body is finally turned up. Let's check it out. Right. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I it's hate a, it. It's a decorative coffin. I open the lid to the coffin. I find a book among the junk inside. Monster Encyclopedia? It's a book about different monsters around Japan and their associated legends. Mashida flips through the book. Huh. So the spider monster originally killed people by drowning them in water. Yeah, that sounds right. I remember reading a legend like that in one of the books piled up in the desk at Kujo Mansion. It usually targets woodcutters or hunters, but they're always saved at the last minute. Every region has a story like that. Saved? How? They use a tree stump. The spider takes it instead. Oh. Then the protagonist escapes. I don't get it at all. There's no point in complaining about folklore. In any case, this will make for a good reference. Take it with you. Now, the body. Spider webs wrap around its entire body, making it look fake at first glance, but when I look closer, it does appear to be, well, an actual human corpse. When I touch it, something flakes off. It looks like traces of dried skin. Yay. The, the corpse is almost a complete skeleton. Small stature, but based on the thickness of the bones, it's likely an adult male. Considering how dried out it is, I'd say it's mm -hmm. been less it's been here for at least a year. The problem is the cause of death. Mashida meticulously searches the corpse. Then, finally shakes his head. I just can't tell. Was he strangled by spider webs? Quit joking around. I, was, I wasn't joking. A joke, huh? It'd be great if that's all it was. Uh. Still, this skeleton. He must have been in pain when he died. His face is all twisted. If it was an adult, then he was likely a guest here. No matter how hard I tried to sympathize, I just can't. Hey, look at this. Mashida suddenly tosses something at me. I found it earlier. It belonged to this guy. It still has some fuel left. Keep it in your bag or something. Cheap lighter. Burn the body. I open the door to the bathroom. Hmm. I open a lid of the trash can to look inside. There's a large clump of hair inside as well as some paper waste. Resisting the urge to scream. 
I securely close the lid and chuck the trash can back <laughs> where it was. I would do that too. <laughs> what? Someone had to like drop a giant deuce. Wish they fucking had the occupied. I open the door and rummage around inside. Got a bent hanger. Oh, hell yeah. Just what we needed. What's that? Okay. Sorry, friendo. Sorry, buddy. That's rough, buddy. The door to room 502 is locked. Why? Whatever. <sighs> was it here? Yes, it was. Hmm. You know what? An idea hits me, and I take out the bent hanger. I should be able to bend this into any shape I want. I bend it into one straight wire so it can fit down the drain. Hanger bending? I stick in... I stick it in the pipe and move it up and down. I hear the sound of dirty water being dislodged and hit something hard. Key to room 502. On the key is a tag that says Deluxe Suite. That'll come in handy. Good thing it wasn't washed down the drain. Yeah. There's sticky white threads wrapped around this key too. No. It seems like they stopped it from falling from the from way down the pipe. Wait. Right. We are already like that. Alright. To the upstairs! Rosebud. Oh, come on. I gotta go through this manually. Whatever. I don't like this room. I know what that's used for. I don't like this room. Uh oh. There's a broken wooden horse. I got the lift. I got the lift of the wooden horse. When I do, I notice something catch the light. I pick it up and discover it's a metal tool. It's a mouth speculum. Oh, no. It's usually used for medical purposes, but some maniacs use them for other things. Huh. Just as I'm replying to Mashida, white light flashes before my eyes and I black out. <laughs> oh, we'll just let you hear that. Father! Sumo! Hello, son! How are you doing? Oh, your son needs to shut his ears and eyes. My my <laughs> my my son my son is is of a is of age, he's fine. Okay. I, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure. Right, son? <laughs> How do you not know your son's age? I'm so, I asked him, he didn't tell me. Oh. He, he didn't tell me before I adopted him. <laughs> oh fair. <laughs> I hear someone sobbing. My eyes should be open, but everything is pitch black. I shake my head desperately and try to look around. Oh, boy. A horrible image flows into my mind. What is this? Oh, they're doing the punishment. I'm sure that's all I have to say. How are you? We're we're playing spooky kinky games, going third base with ghosts. Kink. This is a finale for uh, this game, so that we're going through it. I'm doing pretty all right. Thank you for asking. A young girl is blindfolded and restrained. Her mouth is being forced open with a tool. With that tool. Her breathing is ragged. 
She must have been given a drug of some kind. Let us commence the judgment. <laughs> a man speaks theatrically oh, behind now me. We drank it. We drank oh, it. Thank you for the hydrates. <sighs> I love you, son. Nah. The court has decided to give the accused a fair trial and will judge her crimes. The trial will now begin. That spider is fucking huge. People were supposed to right? swallow that? Apparently. Hold. I shall put this spider in the accused's mouth, and if it crawls out, she is guilty. If she can swallow it, she is innocent. Upon hearing that, the girl starts jerking around frantically. Her movements half haphazard. haphazard. Oh no. She desperately cries for help. Her words are garbled from fear or the drug. Or the fact that she has that thing holding her mouth up. Right. <laughs> I hear men jeering. And then a man released the giant spider into the girl's mouth. Dude, with that like thing holding your mouth open, it's gonna be really hard to swallow. Right? Ah! Which is why it's up to the freaking spider, honestly. Hey! Get a hold of yourself! Kaze, can you see me? The spiders! Get it! Get it! Idiot, calm down! Ah! With a slug to the jaw, I finally returned to my senses. That's right. I'm in a room at Masquerade, and then the vision I just saw. What did I just see? I went somewhere. You haven't gone anywhere. You just fell on the floor and started writhing. I feel like I've woken up from a long dream. I can't believe that was just a hallucination. Finally calm down? N yeah. I'm fine now. I wipe sweat off my forehead and swallow. The girl who was restrained. Was that Asko? If it's so, then... Was she unable to go to the police before because she was caught by people here? Ah, fuck. I open the lid of the coffin. I find a book among the junk. Demon Encyclopedia. Oh fuck. The picture has the book has various pic has pictures of various demons and demonic crests and lists their characteristics. I guess the guests here were interested in stuff like that. Yay. Yay. Open the door to the bathroom. Oh yeah, Maya. Why did you tell me that thing? You, that thing that you were doing was the fucking uh, de delinquents demo stream. Uh, because I wasn't expecting to stay. Oh. That long. You should have just told I me. Was, I was like just there for an hour. I was planning to just be there for an hour and leave whenever you guys, you were starting the stream. Yeah, you should have just told. You should have told me about it though. I was I was kind of interested when yeah. I, when I heard about it. You yeah. said stuff came up. Sorry. All right, homies, let's move on. The tub is covered in dents and scratches. Too many for it to be natural wear. Going by the appearance of the room, horrible things probably happened in there. With the shelf stuck to the wall. I checked through all the bottles on the shelf. Got bath salts, insect repelling cream. 
Now, clearly, none of us like spiders, including Esco. I hear footsteps as I step into the hallway. I turn in the direction of the noise to see. Why are you here? Sho? Sho Nagashima is standing there. Mashida said he he ran into him in the hospital, but... It showed a boy! I can't believe you came! Sho? What's the matter? I take a step towards him, but Mashida stops me. Wait. Something's not right. I look closely at Sho's face. No, it couldn't be. His face is unnaturally stiff. Suddenly, he begins yelling angrily. I, I was looking for you this whole time. I'm gonna... I'm gonna kill you! He raises a metal bat he was hiding and moves into attack. Get back, Kaze! Mashida yells, urging me to escape. But we're in a hallway with closed walls. What should I do? Man, of course I would have a liver die with this guy being the one who kills me. Huh. <laughs> Shows attacking, what do I do? Uh. Fuck, really? What you gonna do? What you gonna okay, do? Swing. The time is going down. Duck and dodge! Dunkin' Donuts? I quickly duck, covering my head. Hey! You're not getting away! Show's bat alters course in a flash, and I take a direct hit. Oh, fuck! That's a lot. Ouch. You were at 2,000 before. Well, I know. he went dead to 21. Yeah. He strikes only to swing his bat again. Shit! I have my hands full with just trying to get away. There's no way I'm gonna be able to restrain him. But if shows like Hiro and is infected with the same mysterious poison, we have to restrain him or his life's in danger. I can't do this alone. What should I do? Die! Show's deranged eyes burn a hole in me. Show's attacking again. What do I do? Fuck it, tackle him! I desperately try for a counterattack. Idiot! I can see right through you! Come on! Show easily dodges and swings his bat down. Ah. Ah, shit, dude. <laughs> Come on! happens in a flash. After all, after that, all I know is endless darkness. Fucking hell. Oh shit, dude. Come on, how am I supposed to know what the right answer was? Yeah, that one's, that one's hard. That was hard, but make sure you pay attention to the CG and what's said beforehand. Well, yeah, I think, I figured since he's going for a batting swing, it's like, hey, I could just duck, I guess. Yeah, I would have thought the same thing, too. was said beforehand. Right? She's trying to kill me. He raises a metal bat he was hiding and moves into attack. Get back. Mashida yells urging me to escape. What should I do? Okay. He swing towards the left, so... Run to my right. I quickly dodge to the right. Hey! You're not getting away! Never mind. Shows bad alter course and a random direct hit. Fucking. One, two, three, four. Fuck my life. This ain't an easy one. This makes it bad again. Shit! And my hands full with trying to get away. Okay. Yeah, okay. No, this one should have been obvious, son. Uh. If my chances are thin, no matter what I do, then my only chance, my only choice is to draw his attention. Huh? 
Sho hesitates for a moment, confused. But a second later... You dumb idiot. You don't know when to give up, old man. The metal Wait, bat... Show. The metal bat flashes was, above his head. Then... You're the idiot. There's the bull. Shoots him in the head with a metal... with a fucking <laughs> rubber bullet. <laughs> Mashida suddenly appears next to him and throws a direct punch to his face. Safe. Safe. Survived. Wow, I really was playing baseball with a ghost, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I never thought about that, to be completely honest. <laughs> Show tumbles to the ground. As he falls, his bat flies through the air and... Yeah! Unluckily for me, it collides into the side of my head. And it collapses with a pitiful yelp. What the hell? Dumbass. What the fuck, man? What's up? What's up, Sumo? Give me a sec. Anyway, cursing Mashida quickly grabs Sho's arm and completely restrains him. As Mashida pulls his, puts his weight on him, Sho groans painfully. Finally, he faints. Hey, Kaze, you okay? No, you jackass. Yeah, it just grazes me. He's with a flesh wound. A flash of I sit up and gently shake my head back and forth. Thankfully, everything seems fine. Maybe I'm brain hemorrhaging, but I can't tell. And give me a hand. We need to carry him out of here. He's probably like the others now. Ah, <sighs> we'd better hurry. To think show would end up as a third victim. I managed to make myself stand, but my spirits have dro have dropped down to my feet. Still sprinkling outside. The drag show of the hotel. We finally have a chance to catch our breaths. We'll call off the investigation for today. How many times? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many times? This is a long ass chapter for no reason. That's what Valley says. Banshee and Hero flash before my eyes, but show safety should come first. Let's go ahead and bring him to the hospital. I'll go get the car. Good idea. Yours is better for moving sick people around. I take out the car keys and stand up. But just as I do... <laughs> a piercing pain runs through the side of my head as I fall back to my knees. Kaze! It, it's just a headache! I thought I had gone away, so why? You got hit right where it hurts, huh? And just rest there. But I'm on the floor, you idiot! But show! You're injured too, so take it easy. I'll take Nagashima in my car. You wait here until I get back, got it? At least let's trade cars! I'll come straight back <laughs> after I drop him off. Sorry. Show's in your hand now! Mashita co collects show and disappears. The soft pitter-patter of rain permeates the area. The sound of the rain seems to make this place even quieter somehow. And then I notice something. The noises aren't the only thing that vanished. The pain is gone. The intense, the intense headache had faded like it never was. This happened to me twice before. Hold on. Now I'm suspicious. Was he supposed to go in alone the whole entire fucking time? I think back on the times when I had a headache. The first is when I went inside Masquerade with Diamond and Banshee. But back then, I'm pretty sure I wanted to keep everyone together. But then I had a headache and Banshee showed up and then Banshee upped and disappeared. 
My next head came the following morning. I was trying to go see Hiro and Banshi, but in the end, I was unable to. But, ju but just then, just now, I was going to the hospital with Sho and Mashia. I gazed at the entrance to the masquerade. You're the only one I wanted to see, sir. And that's what Red Riding Hood said. And I get it. You. I stare at the hotel as if I can see through doors. I feel like I can see a red figure inside. One rainy night, a girl stood there wearing a red raincoat. You're still waiting even now for the one you respect so much. And that headache always attacked when I was trying to stick with other people. What if I stopped trying and staying stay by myself like I am now? And then it'll vanish like I never was there. I get it. Hiro. Banshi. And now Sho. I've gotten my friends all caught up in this. That's right. It's all my fault again. I'll come alone. So. Do what you will. I eat Gales all by himself. Protagonist time. So are we Find following the rule out. <laughs> that like? So are we following the rule that whoever is accompanying him is the only one allowed to give hints? Yeah. So that none of us are there. We can't do anything. <laughs> Fuck. And go back inside masquerade. Sir. Sorry, I was, I was taking a drink of tea. A voice calls from the darkness as if it was waiting for me. <laughs> I would say let's elope, but you're dead. <laughs> but you're dead. And also a minor. Pet a necrophilia? <laughs> what are you telling me to do? The red thread of fate, right? The top floor in the room of masks. The top floor? The sixth floor was listed on the guide, but it was impossible to reach. <laughs> I'll be waiting. Red Riding Hood's figure melts silently into the elevator. As she does, the elevator's floor display begins blinking on and off erratically. I can totally imagine that in a movie. A combination. You know it, don't you, sir? Oh! Her voice reverberates through the elevator door. Throughout the elevator. So she's telling me to go to her. But this combination, what in the world could it be? Okay, I gotta remember. Uh, two was the first, no. What was the first one? Hold on. No, God damn it, I don't wanna do that. She's just like, why is he not coming? <laughs> <laughs> Masquerade wife. Picture of a masked woman wearing a wedding gown. Okay, right. So it's two, then one, then four and three? <clears throat> Alright, let's just. Okay. Masquerade wife. Pick it up. Gazing. God damn it. <laughs> it's a picture of a masked woman gazing at a man. Okay, I was right. Okay. She, ga she gazed at the man. 
there was a wedding dress in one. Masquerade of Wife. It's a picture of a masked woman walking with a cane. Three is the last one. Two, one, blank, blank, three. Masquerade of Wife. It's a picture of a masked woman walking with a cane. Right! Elevator. Come on, we got this shit working. That's so stupid. And <laughs> these are... The spirit vanished into the elevator. I must be able to use the elevator to get to the top floor then. And the floor display began to blink on and off erratically. Is that some kind of hint? And that word she used, combination. I stare at the elevator buttons. Maybe I'm supposed to push these in a certain order. If I press the floor buttons in a certain order, I might be able to get to the sixth floor. But what's the order? I've got no idea. I've got to think. There has to have been a clue somewhere inside Masquerade. I already know it. Uh, try the combination. Push two. One. Uh, let's try four. Five. Three. Was that not it? Okay. Two, one, five, four. Pool or hot tub, which is better? Uh, I don't know. It depends on if you want to have. I was about to say. People with you. Okay, so ask. Okay, uh, question: Do I feel like swimming? Or do I feel like chilling? Am I gonna be, am I gonna <laughs> am I gonna be in there with people or am I gonna be there by myself? Do I want Wait. to have fun or do I just want the vibe? Just in general. I I can't. They're both meant for different things. Although I do love being in warmth. So I guess I'm gonna have to say hot tub. That's such a random question. Sumo does this. Some Sumo does that sometimes. Yeah, I, I, I have hey, 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 yeah. yeah, don't worry. It's a. I mean, the question is still valid. Don't worry. Use the elevator normally. True man of culture. Has someone been Chris. saying pool, son? Chris, people's bathtubs can also be hot tubs. So. Hot tub all the way. Running down a trail. Okay, she runs down a trail. Do I got do I got all this fucked up then? Is the trail supposed to be the first thing that goes down? Use the elevator normally. Masquerade wife. It's a picture of a masked woman hold, holding hands with a child. Okay, so I got so I'm fucking up this order pretty badly, I'm guessing. <laughs> she met a ma okay, uh running down. You met a man. In a wedding gown, you hold with the hands of the child, and then you get then you fucking grow old. No? What? Where? Where's my? Where's the you flaw? You only pressed hand? four. You only pressed four buttons, didn't you? No, I press all of them. I'm supposed to press only four, or two, one. The God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> She's running down. She met a man, got married to him, had a child, got old. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, last time you only hit four buttons. Okay. Well, I'm insane, I guess. I don't know. 
I was like, are you not gonna hit the three? <laughs> I thought I did! The, the elevator door opens and... A mussy scent greets me. Yay. Smells like furries in here! Uh -huh. And I don't like that. But that's not all. The smell is blood. Metallica. Red Riding Hood's voice drips on the wind. And I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> Not I've been waiting for you. Nothing, Ezu. My god is a furry, sadly. Oh? Oh! You know who I'm talking about! <laughs> I, yeah, as soon as I said, oh, I did, like, his, his, like, profile pic on Twitter just bursted into my brain. I was like, oh! <laughs> you just see Rivali? <laughs> yeah, that, that's all I saw. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm... I doubt my words will reach her. But I feel Sean like I have Chiplock to... Is God. Yeah, Sean Chiplock. I want him to acknowledge me! More than just giving me a game. <laughs> I want him to praise me! <laughs> We're gonna get there, fam. We're gonna have you float. Float. We will. We shall. But I feel I have to at least say it. I'm not the one you respect. I'm not the one you're waiting for. Liar. You always lie. Is that right? I'm not lying. I'm really not. <laughs> a scream splits the night. It's the same one I had during the spider torture. Stop! Stop this! This won't accomplish anything! <laughs> That's why, this time, I'm going to test you. Oh, what the fuck? I hate test. I hate test! Tell me the truth. Oh, boy. <laughs> Why the hell are your tits so big? I thought you were a high school girl. You didn't... Every time I saw you, you weren't that fucking jacked. Okay, whatever. I know, right? Clothes, man, clothes. Ugh. Oh, it's all live or die? Oh, fuck. I can't even think about it. We can't even think about it. At least with a boss battle, you can think. Countless, Got some time. Countless spiders fly out of the darkness and start crawling all over my body. Fantastic. A swarm of spiders keeps coming. You hate vibration. Douse insecticide. Activate the massager. <laughs> Shit! I take the massager out of my bag, hold it against my body, and switch and hit the switch. This worked before. The spiders start acting strangely. And they all scramble away. Blessings. Bless you, magic vibrator. <laughs> Red Riding Hood lets out a gusty sigh. Glittering white threads fly all fly through the air from her mouth. She's trying to use her spider silk. Use the Use the horse head! I hold the horse head over mine as a protection. Strangely enough, the thread seemed drawn to it, and it only wraps around the horse head. Blessings for folklore. I will not kiss you! This is like reverse Spider-Man. <laughs> oh my god, you're right! Where? Who's in the wrong? I only 
did what was right. I don't remember the one for this. This is. Do. This is so. Five, Better choose quickly. You only have 500 left. Ugh, villains go to hell. That's right. Red writing kind of staring at me. Sir, come with me. The only thing that matters is your life. Oh uh, fuck. How do you know a person's worth? How do you know a person's worth? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Red Riding Hood screams again, and her maddening eyes glare at me. Do you kill? Oh, come on, I gotta... This is dangerous. <laughs> we met too late. <laughs> I fucked up. What do you like about me? Be honest, be honest, be honest, be honest. Your honesty. Your righteousness. That's right. First try? First try? Um. We survived. Maya? What? Kill the traitor together. Red Riding Hood. Red Riding Hood's figure wavers then. Smashes through the window and off into the night. Oh no! Did she just jump? The bustling city can be heard out of the window. I wipe my sweaty brown from my uh, sweaty brow from my shirt and leave. Something touched my cheek. Something floating in the darkness. A thread. As I follow with my eyes, I realize that it's wrapped around my wrist. Whoa! Something yanks me towards the window. I brace my legs and try to resist, but all in vain. I'm thrown out into the night sky. Did I just get baited? Yeah. You're fucking with me! <laughs> I scream as I plummet. No, I should be rushing towards the ground. Just as I give up all hope. Whoa! The boy! A strong jolt makes me look up. A man struggles to hold onto my arm, his teeth gritting with effort. The man, the legend. You stupid idiot! Mashida! Shut up and give me your other arm! Hurry up! Grab onto me! Right! That's a nice CG of him, too. Right. He desperately tries to pull me up, and after what feels like an eternity of struggling, I make it over the ledge and tumble safely back into the inside the hotel. What the fuck, though? Oh god, this is a bad end. <gasps> the only sound that can be heard is our gas for breath as we sit in the dark. Why did you ignore my orders? Mashida spits words between out between wheezes. <laughs> Sorry. This isn't the time to be making excuses. I might be better off just shutting up. Idiot. Try putting yourself in my shoes. No. Your, your shoes are smelly. <laughs> just 
Just because I look homeless. <laughs> Is she gone? I think so. The window. I'm still trembling as I point to the broken window. She threw herself out of it. She might have been trying to take me with her. No. Not you. That sir person. Yeah. I suppose you're right. Can you walk? Let's go. Mashida slowly stands and looks at me. Nicely done. That wasn't bad work for an amateur like you. May I remind you who saved five different groups of people? Not you. <laughs> <laughs> Including you. <laughs> uh, he's just a piece of shit through and through, but he's a... He's amazing. Good piece of shit, if that's a right way to phrase <laughs> that. It stopped raining. A cold wind on my cheek hints at autumn. I'm going to drop by and see Diamond. I'd like to see how the others are doing. Where the fuck is Shell? You already dropped him off? Y yeah. yeah. That's where he left. That was quick. What? Hand me the car key. No. I can drive. Have you completely gone mad? Look at your hands. I glance down at them. Only to suddenly realize they're still shaking. You just face down a spirit. You can't drive in that condition. I have before, but you know. The choice, the choice made for me. I take the key out of my pocket and toss it to Masha. <laughs> Captain, Captain yeah. Levi needs to chill. Yeah. yeah. The corner parking lot. Right. You rest here. His figure melts into the darkness. As I watch him go, I notice something down on the wet asphalt. It's... A dead spider. It lays there, legs all curled up, almost as if it was desperately trying to hold on to something. Are you satisfied now? Then let's go home. I gently pick up the spider. I wrap it in my handkerchief and put it in my pocket. To which it then gets squished because they decided to lay down the wrong way. Right. Our right back is a blur. I sat and let Mashida's voice wash over me like background radio noise. <laughs> Irish. Actually, when spiders die, blood flows fro stop flowing to their legs so they curl up. <laughs> he's lucky he's a teacher. <laughs> I remember wondering if Red Riding Hood might have stolen a part of my soul. Before the investigation today, Moe tipped us off on that testimony, remember? That helped me connect the dots. I realized a teacher was wrapped up in the case. A teacher from school near the hotel was arrested for breaking the law. That's... What does that have to do with anything? There was an odd part of Aiko's testimony. They were scared they'd be reported, but nothing ever happened. In other words, Esco never went to the police after tattling to the teacher. Or maybe more, she couldn't go. I frown as I try to put the pieces together. I think I'm too spaced down as it is, as it's not making sense. You'd never make it as a detective. Yeah, thanks. And you'd never make it as a spirit detective. <laughs> Can't he just drop that? Can't he just drop that? I don't plan on becoming one anyway. Spirit detective. There's only one. There's only one possible answer. 
This sir person Esco trusted so deeply was one of Masquerade's customers. What? I feel like I've been hit up the side of the head and not with a pillow, more like a lead pipe. Well, then again, show did hit me there. The one she sought salvation from ended up being criminal. The definition I... of irony. Mashita glances out the window and chuckles dryly. And the bitter sound fits both our moods. It was the teacher, Enmura, the one mentioned in Eiko's testimony. I saw a photo of him. He was thin, tall, the type popular with students. Well, I suppose. He glances back at me through the mirror. You might say he wasn't too unlike you. I can't smash this image in the rear view now. Yeah. Mashita suddenly tosses a file at me. <laughs> I throw it at your face. <laughs> Those are the research results. Look them over if you want to know more. Results? I flip through the thick bundle of paper. And there is a set of very well organized documents. It would have taken a lot of time to gather this amount of information. Then it hits me. Wait a second. Mashida just said that he connected the dots with the help of Moe's testimony. Which means he knew all of this before we started our investigation tonight. You knew everything? I just said I put it all together when I heard the testimony. But I decided not to tell you just in case. Why? If I had known, I could have... What would you have done? His tone turns mocking as he laughs. You would have just sympathized too much and let down your guard. You should be grateful I didn't. Mashita leaves me with the research files and heads up the and heads to Diamond's hospital. Now that I'm alone, I can't keep my three hospitalized friends out of my mind. But there's nothing I can do for them right now. I've done everything I can. I bolster myself with that information. I spread Mashita's documents out on the table. I'm exhausted, but I feel like I need to go through them today. Who in the world was Red Riding Hood? If Mashita was right, the truth should be right in front of me. Mashita's reports. Are you sure you want to say? How dare you? <laughs> I mean, I think he can start from... I don't remember. The other one? Okay. Oh, it's fine. This is a bad end, ain't it? <laughs> You bastards! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, well, you know, just, well, just continue. Well, the worst well, part is that you're not even answering me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just. <laughs> End of chapter six. Like we, like we, I think we were about to say that, but you just kind of went way too, way too quickly. To yeah, you did. That's fair. Yeah. Oh well. And so the case surrounding Masquerade quietly comes to a close. Oh no, Irish. Uh, so the thing with the main story is that a specific uh, spirit gave every all the other spirits the ability to mark you so that you would die by dawn. But since we've uh, beaten the main story, so this is after yeah. we've solved the actual death mark case. So there's yeah, no so, actual marks. So there's anymore. no more death marks. This is just a regular spirit now. And so the case surrounding Masquerade quietly comes to a close, leaving an invisible scar on that dark street. The lives lost there will never be will never return, and neither will their trampled dignity. I lost something as well. Ah, son of a bitch, I just got it. Yeah, what was it? No, the fucking achievement. Red Riding Hood destroyed. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now, granted, granted, this there, is the hardest good ending to get in this game. Because it's just Dude, Liberty. there was no tell for that! That's what I'm saying. There is absolutely no tell. The only tell that you have is the fact that you're supposed to, like, pretend to be this upstanding teacher. 
But then you could say anything, really. I but think some you guys just don't question. understand a girl's heart is what's going on. Uh, yes. I was trying to be honest. She did it like a liar. To be to your credit, you got two mm -hmm. of the choices right. Yeah. But if you didn't get all four, you, you get a bad ending. And honestly, what happens is here. Worsened after that. Oh, God. They were immediately transferred to a larger hospital. Because of that, they narrowly escaped death. But their psyches will never, will forever remain damaged. Psyches. Psyches. Okay. According to Daimon, the chances of them even recovering are very thin. To have this happen, the people who were only trying to lend me a hand. <clears throat> Maybe it could have been better if I just died from the fallout masquerade's window. Hmm. I struggle to get through each and every day. If this is Red Riding Hood's revenge, then I admit that it's effective. Yeah, the difference with the good ending is literally just they, they wake up. They wake up yeah. and they're okay. A week later. I'm coming in. Mashita suddenly shows up on my door. Even before I open my mouth, he pulls out an envelope and tosses it on the table. I'm here to deliver this. It's your reward. I fucked up, you ass. What a joke. Rewarded for letting the, my let, for the rewarded for letting that happen to my friends. How should I know? The client asked me to do this. That's all. I did my job and handed it over. The rest is in your hands. Damn. What a pain. <sighs> Mashita turns and curses under his breath, but I can still hear everything he says. They all came... They all... That's all you came for? No. Here's one other thing. I learned something from this past case. And what's that? Something about you. You're suited for this work after all. That again? Sorry, but I'm done. No more. Just hear me out. There have been more mysterious cases like masquerades popping up lately. I thought it might be Mark-related, but it seems like I was wrong. He stops for a moment, then mutters. Then mutters. Hyaki Yagyo, a monster's parade. Ah. Have you heard anything about it? A Hyaki Yagyo? Yeah, sure, in ghost stories. I don't remember this. But he's clearly asking about something that happened that's happening in the real world. No, I haven't. That's so. I figured you, of all people. Forget it. First he asks me, then he tells me to forget it. He only cares about his own bottom line. She... Mashita glances briefly at the sofa in the corner of the room. Might have known something. Sorry, but I can't. I just don't have the energy. I'm not saying right now. I'm sure Yasuoka will wait until you're 100%. <laughs> I'm not pushing you either. That's all I wanted to say. No, wait. I have one last bit of advice. Quit doing stuff like that. Like what? You picked up that dead spider, didn't you? You saw? Just out of the corner of my eye. That's why darkness follows you. Your ancestors probably had pity on her, too. <sighs> the living and the dead can't coexist. If you try to accept their feelings, you'll just end up getting pulled in. Mashida might be right, but even so, if someone doesn't accept them, 
They'll stay like that forever. That's not something I want to bear. Mashida just snorts der derisively, like usual. Give us some thought. Even if you don't want it, the time may come one day. Oh my Confucius. <laughs> Confucius say, spider pus ain't worth the fuss. Oh my god. He leaves, closing the door behind him. That mark at the end of the case, and at the end of what? And the, uh, that marks the end of the case, and the end of one chapter in my story. But someday in the future, I can't help but think the door will be thrown open again. And that is Death Marker. <laughs> Yay, right. dead people. Psyched up people. Galleries Curse unlocked. People. Cleared. Save all progress. I mean, you might as well save over. Let me see, see if you can do like a chapter pick. I'm trying to see. What? Oh god. It just Go restarts. back to main menu. Is it really just starting from the fucking beginning? Yeah. Nah, nah. It looks like it is. Well, I can't go to the main menu from here. I gotta see you again! <laughs> <laughs> you fucking bitch! <laughs> Stare at it! Absorb it into your eyes! Your sister is dead! I will kick your face in! <laughs> oh, come on. Did you name him too? <laughs> was that the default name before? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yashiki was the default name. I'll just yeah. leave it then. Yashiki Kazuo. He's got glasses because now he's educated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we beat the fucking game, but I'm not satisfied. Fair, 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 fair. And maybe you should have bored me. I didn't. I, I didn't expect. It's fine. No, it's not. I mean, the the literal only difference is the, the text. Fuck it, we'll just go. We'll just go on and just. Assume... All right, speed run, everybody. No, we'll just. I... No, we'll just go on and fucking just. I wonder what happens if I subway for deaf here. <laughs> game, just... over. <laughs> yeah, game over. We're just gonna fucking go, and if it turns out that there's no chapter select, then we're done. We're just gonna move on to the second game and just assume we got the fucking good ending. <laughs> Why? That's because fine. we're petty. That's okay. <laughs> you mean you don't want to go? You mean you don't want to go through and kill everybody who comes with you? No, I want you the good. I want to actually play the good chapter. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, little boy likes lipstick, blah, blah, blah. Oh my god. That's literally what the shit is. I honestly hate anything. I honestly hate both the stages involving the school. I really do. <laughs> I don't, I didn't like them. You didn't like them? No, I don't like, I don't, I don't like the school. School is kind of scary. No, it just sucked. <laughs> Fair. We like the woods better. Or the underground uh, shelter. Uh, I like the underground shelter better. The shelter was actually pretty... Uh... Yeah, 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 shut up. <laughs> All right, system. Let's go back to the... Try doing X. Oh, start there, save and exit. Make a new data. Just in case, I don't know. Then uh, press system. No, go back. Uh, uh, X. No, no, X. Go to system again. Sorry. S press start. Save and exit. What? Oh, fucking. Okay. I guess you just have to restart the game. Just exit. Okay, we're gonna restart the game. If there's no chapter select, then fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Oh, look, no. I'm just gonna Life. look up the good end. I'm telling you, it's literally just a freaking uh, text change. Uh, 25 out of 31 achievements. The other six involve killing them. Yeah, I know. Gallery? Event? Spirits? Oh yeah, you never read the thing. I didn't think this would be what the what is this i went to gallery and it just put me here oh yeah it's showing you the cg of the um all right all right she was quite honestly the least scary of them all probably because she actually had a a recognizable human thing maybe yeah. a human resemblance cannon soldier was fucking Ugh. <laughs> I fucking oh, hate. I fucking hated. She, I hated Shimio. No. Shimio was. I, for, no. I forget what. Yeah. Ha, I forget what Hanayome was. Hanayome was the bride, bride. in the phone. Oh. The... Oh yeah. No, she was freaky. <laughs> very, very freaky. Well, that was Spirit you just Hunter Jet. Wanted Jeff. to be with your dog, you know. There's kind of a blessing that the note that you found was in the mountain because that was the line of thinking you went with yeah no chapter you have? no chapter who did, you, who did you have with you at that chapter i forgot uh it what i was it Ata Chris or was it christy, christy? I, yeah i think it was christy, Might have been christy. With, like who did or he Hanayama. have with him with Hanayama. Hanayama? that was suzu and Ata's chapter i know yeah, but like yeah but who, who did he have with me was with him yeah i think yeah, I think I had Christy with me. Yeah. God. Okay, well, uh, it's getting late. We're done with the game. I don't it's know. It's a good time. Now, here's the thing. I could obviously go for longer because it's a weekend. I don't know it's how true. you guys feel about it. I mean, I'm and okay, if, but and like... If I did, and if I did, for some reason, start Spirit Hunter NG... We obviously wouldn't go through much of it, and it won't be for a while, because 13 Sentinels comes out on Tuesday. I'm focused on that. Absolutely. No problem. So, I mean, it's up to you, bro. Up to you. Uh, I mean, well, like, there is a prologue for Spirit Hunter NG, but, like, yeah. All right, how long are you guys are willing to stay up? Um, a couple hours. All right, we'll do, we'll, do the, well, all right, we'll do a bit of NG, then. A little bit of NG? Yeah.
I, I guess I could also add, I guess I could also tell Naho because Naho said she wanted to be here at least for NG. Cool. We'll do like uh the intro to NG before the first spirit, and then uh, just so you can get a uh feel for how that game goes. It's the same as this basically, but there's a couple changes. All right, just give me a moment. Let's take a quick break, everybody. Did I did I download NG ahead of time? Yes, I did. Oh, you smart man. Oh. I guess there is no need for the break. <laughs> yeah, just to give you a quick... Uh... How many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? I don't know, Sumo. Depending on where you put the parts, you know. You could choke it with one chicken. Or make it have internal bleeding with one chicken. I don't uh, want to think about killing a poor elephant with a chicken. <laughs> killing an elephant with a chicken? That's what Sumo's asking. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm not looking at the chat at the moment. I don't know. How can you achieve that? Killing an elephant I with a chicken. I can literally think of three ways already. I don't want to think of more. It's sad. Elephants are uh, honest to God, sweeties. Uh, Okay, not okay. Not how saying she wants me. She wants me to hold off. She wants to actually be here for NG. Okay, so we'll hold off for another time then. Yeah, sure. I guess I guess is a I guess is a good thing. I guess we could just end stream here, and I guess if you guys we could, if you guys want, we could just vibe and do whatever. Okay. Right. You. Yeah, yeah. No. You think I? You think I don't want to hang out with you guys? That's fine. I mean, I didn't say that. We're here. We are. Ready to vibe? Ugh. Yeah, because I'm because I'm only gonna just yeah I'm I'm only leaving if you guys are sleep if you guys are going to sleep so whatever. All right, so yeah that's the end of the stream and I hope you guys all enjoyed that shit because that was fucking wild. And fuck that chapter. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was that's fine. There was like no tells for any of the liver dies except for like the things involving the spiders. What the fuck? All right. Yeah. Peace. Peace, Peace. out.